blood all over him, Knight. I reacted in self-defense. We will not just sit sit back and cop this. He has been wet. Push a man hard enough, and sooner or later, he's sure to push back. Knights, look at that. That's a, a horrible scene for Richmond. Matthew Knights was pushed. So were his Tigers. We're a proud club, and uh, every dog has a day. Much was said after that round two clash. This rematch was marked long ago. Wait until the next time, or the next time's here, let's see uh, what happens. Finally, the waiting is over. The talking can now end. Tonight, these Tigers have their chance to push back. For in this game, you can talk all you like, but when it's all said and done, there's only one thing that truly matters, and that is winning the game. Are these Tigers tough enough to give as good as they get? Now is the time to find out. Welcome to Friday Night Footy. Wolsey, that's the build-up. How do you think both teams will be handling it right now? They'd be very nervous, Bruce. They've been waiting four months for this one. Interesting in the warm-up. I say interesting, but not unusual, we're told by the Tigers. Matthew Knights and Joel Bowden didn't go out to warm-up with the rest of the team. Very strange, that one, Bruce. Uh, I'm really surprised about that, but I reckon Knight has had a big week and he's just setting himself for when he hits the turf tonight. He'll be right into it. Apparently they do do it all the time. They do uh, They do warm-up inside, but tonight, uh, Knights, he'll be out there right now. They mark it well. Colum Colonial Stadium's a bonus, Danny Frawley says, yet against the Bulldogs they've struggled to kick scores recently. Well they have, and uh, that's an interesting one. I, I just think that tonight Danny Frawley will be looking at Richardson and Ottens to kick the goals for them. I think Wallace will get his ruckman to drop back and try to block their path. He's played a few cards this week, Terry Wallace, hasn't he? He's led from the front. He played another twist last night with Patrick Bowden. Joel's younger brother, what a debut for him. And doesn't he look like Joel? And if he's half as good as Joel, he'll be a terrific player because I think Joel Bowden's an absolute top liner. But by all accounts, this young fellow's been in terrific form. That was him in the, the warm-up. So the, the Bulldogs still to come out. The Tigers are out there just at the moment. What about the midfield? There's some designated kickers in the midfield for both teams, aren't there? Well, there is. If we have a look at the three uh, Tiger midfielders, you see that Tivendale, he kicks 76% of the time. He's such a long left foot kick. He sets the tall players up. And Bowden's very similar. He's such a lovely kick, so he'll kick most of the time. If we have a look at the Bulldogs lineup, you'll see that Brown's the player who kicks more often. He's the one who's lovely on that left foot. The contrast is Liber, who only kicks 47% of the time. He's in and under. He shovels the handballs out. Scotty West is similar. This is the Bulldogs in the room, so they're still not out yet. The banner's going to be interesting when they come out. They've got Campbell's soup for tea tonight, they've set on the banner, so they've really earmarked Wayne Campbell and also Matthew Knights. Down back, they look pretty strong. They do, and they've got a fair bit of height there. You can see Penny and Alice, they're tall, and they'll look after Richardson and Ottens. Alice has big leap, strong fist. He'll get plenty of uh, fist on the ball tonight. Across halfback, Rowan Smith, good to see him back in the lineup. Got injured a couple of weeks back. He gives plenty of dash and long kick into the forward line. Class along that, uh, that midfield. They're all left footers in Brown, West and Harrison. Brown in particular is in rare form at the moment. Across half forward, look out for Simon Cox. Gets a lot of marks, leads well and takes plenty of uncontested marks. The full forward line, Chris Grant may well play at centre half forward, even centre half back tonight. Luke Darcy in the ruck has been in sensational form and Libba, well, I reckon he might go after Wayne Campbell tonight. Let's wait and see. There's the interchange. So three changes tonight for the Bulldogs in their team. So, look at the Tigers here, and the Bulldog cheer squad behind them, as the Doggies come out, three changes as I said, Dimitina's back in, he'll get a run with Roll for sure, look a night to remember, it's Campbell's Soup, a Tiger roast tonight. Boy, they have laid it on the line this week, haven't they? Well, Terry Wallace, I think, has been terrific. He's been on the front foot. He put his chin out and he said, we'll take whatever the Tigers can dish up to us. And I just get the feeling, Bruce, that Danny Frawley and the Tigers have been simmering, waiting for this one. They've been very quiet, but they'll have a real go. Wouldn't matter if these two teams were 15 and 16 and they're not. They're well, fighting for a place in the eight, aren't they? Let's go down to Andrew Mark. Good evening with Terry Wallace. Thanks very much. Bruce. You've held them in there. It's been a massive build-up. How are they dealing with it? Well, look, it's going to take... Uh really solid minds because I mean one minute you're going to be in the heat of the action then the next minute you've got to have really strong decision making on the other side of it so we're just going to make sure we do both right. 
comfortable that they can control it? Oh, well, I suppose so. I mean, that's, that's always a $20,000 question, is it? I just hope our boys come to play tonight. And can I ask you about Libba? Where does he go? Well, look, it just depends on what they're going to do with theirs as well, I suppose. I mean, we really don't know until we sort of see where they settle them down. Good luck. Thanks, Terry. Back to you, Bruce. He's a real is coursing through his veins. No change to the Tigers. Do you like their lineup? Like their lineup, Bruce. Very settled. And uh, Darren Gersper at fullback. He's been in terrific form for them. Callaway, he'll have a big job tonight. Up forward, Richardson and Bowden Stars. Can't wait for the opening bounce. Dermot and Dipper after this Friday night footy. Welcome back, roof over the top as always. Big crowd here, Dermot, welcome. Terrific build up, not only this week, but right now. And what about a couple of the key matchups? Yeah, absolutely, big build up coming up here. Brad Ottens, he's been in good form. I think Crofty's the most experienced defender. He'll get first crack, and I probably think he'd be the only one. Kingsley Hunter is back up. On the other side, Walls, you mentioned Nathan Brown has been in rare form. Well, maybe Chaffee, maybe Zilla if he gets out of hand. Zilla will just be a face mask on him. And also, don't be surprised if Matty Knights turns the tag onto him. Chris Grant's up there is Knights. Chris Grant's about to come into the centre for the toss of the coin with Wayne Campbell. The big dipper down there on the boundary line. What's your information, Dipper? My information is there's a big crowd here, buddy, and uh, I tell you what, you're close to 40 to 50,000 people, so uh, everyone's expecting the fireworks to start early. And uh, look, as a player, there's certain games you want to stand up. One maybe is the ultimate, the grand final. One, obviously, in your first game. But these are the sort of games where you can help your side to stay in touch with the eight. And, uh, and we know what is at the end of this game. And everyone's talking about the matchup. up Interesting to see where Libra goes. I reckon we'll pick up Campbell straight away and get up and done with. And also, Dimitina might be picking up a, a young Chivendale who's been in sensational form. It's really one of the first Friday nights with a lot of edge on it, so uh, back to you boys, enjoying this game. Both teams really committed here, as you can see the dogs. Look at Leon Cameron, the best and fairest seven years ago with the dogs, addressing the players. A twist of the tail there. Ex-dog, now Tiger, really laying it on the line. We saw the commitment from this team in the rooms a few minutes ago, and we saw Terry Wallace, who was so pumped up with Andy Marr just three or four minutes ago as well. Well, Leon Cameron knows a few of the home tricks from the other side, so he's going to be telling the guys what their psyche is, what their mindset is. And Ben Harrison might know a few as well from the other side Coming too. back the other way. Yeah, look, and as you call it, well, there's a lot of left-footers in that team, and they seem to wrong-foot a lot of people. And just interesting with the Bulldogs, Bruce, they, they are playing this game at their own pace. They came out late, and they've broken late going into their positions. I reckon they're just trying to make the Tigers that little bit anxious. Here's Liver. He's on his way to the centre. Knights is in the centre square at the moment. Campbell's in the centre square at the moment. Liver keeps walking closer and closer to Campbell and also to Knights. Ben got... Holland's gone into defence. Gasper's alongside him. Andy uh, Callaway as well. Interesting to see if Holland picks up Chris Grant. Ellis is pushing and shoving Richardson down half forward and wants to have a go at it too. So West with Knights. Liver's there. Di Martina. Yeah, well, it's on already. Plenty of push and shove. Looks like Liver's got Wayne Campbell. Friday night like footy. They might put Campbell straight away to the goal square, try to get him to outmark the shorter Liver. This huge roar. They would be so nervous. Chris Grant and Liver gets the first kick. Can you believe it? Free kick? No. Not paid to Hudson. Johnson, 45 metres out. Little left footer. Didn't go far. They're nervous, all right. Chapman's kick didn't get far. It came off Grant as a free kick. Holland's got the advantage. The Tigers are away. At half back, poor bounce. You reckon there'll be some mistakes early. Rogers, little short. Broderick's got it at centre wing. Handball's good. Sweeps at the King. Clifton King inside. Otten's down low. Couldn't quite take it. Has to give it up. Doggies everywhere. Left, right, and centre. He's gone. He was surely. He had it forever. Got the handball away and found Hudson in the centre. Gee, Croft is free in the forward line. He's found him. Got him. So Croft's got a mark at 45. Grounds and he's out in the goal square. He just needs to settle down and have a shot. He's got, he's certainly within goal kicking distance and that's what Chris Grant has told him. Settle down, don't let the adrenalist push you to play on. Just go back, slot it through, be a great start for us. Well, he wouldn't want to drop short with the kick. He's going to wait until Chris Grant gets down the line. Yep, big Benny Gale just sitting back there by himself. 
Croft on 50, he's kicked it well, it's a goal, the doggies are on the ball. It was never going to miss. i tell you what is going to work for the Tigers though, playing Croft up forward, he is the most experienced, coolest, wisest head that they have to play down back. They're going to have to trust Craig Ellis big time to play on Richardson. They're going to have to trust Luke Penny big time to play on Ottens. So who's got who? We know that Lippa's got Campbell. There's one matchup. Ellis is playing on Richardson. Luke Penny is playing on Ottens. And there's Curley on Bowden. And Curley's job will be to restrict Bowden. Bowden's the source of supply with those long left foots into the forward line. Tippendale's in there at the centre bounce. At this stage, we haven't worked out who's right alongside him. But certainly Liberatore playing on Campbell. And it looks like Knights is going to go with Scotty West. Well, Dimitin is the other man in there, so perhaps he's the man for Tippendale. Campbell held up by Lippa. Lippa's had a kick and a tackle out of the centre square so far. And the doggies once again, this happened in round two. They put about five players, five forwards in the goal square because they reckon that uh, Richmond's defenders are full of rank kicks coming forward. Tivendale, it's uh, Dimitina with him. Tivendale's handball to Gasper. Gasper out wide to Hilton. With him is Harrison. Didn't take it cleanly. He's worked it all right here. Goes in board to Gale. Harrison's hard run, ex-teammate, go to full forward, Ottens at U2. That is a gun mark, was he? A terrific mark, well done by Gale to put the ball in the slot. He set it up in front of the goal square to give Ottens a chance to run out and use his leap. And the big fella hasn't let him down, and you can see Penny from behind there didn't get anywhere near that ball. Made all the contact when the ball was about there. And, yeah, you just saw the tail end of it there. Broke the contact and went to the ball. That's pretty well copybook stuff. And if he is on fire, if he's on song, he's got a tough night ahead, Penny. Kick four last week. Needs to match Croft here. He's closer in. He's a beautiful set shot. A magnificent set shot. 28 goals, 14 this year. Kicked it beautifully. It's a goal. It's all square. Yeah. I remember going back to some of the great set shots. They don't have to be absolute out and out champions, but some of them, you go back to a set shot like a Ken Judge or the fellow in Adelaide, Rod Jamison, they were up around 90% of conversion rate. This kid, Ottens, for a big man, is just phenomenal at conversion from set shots. Darren uh, Gasper playing on Chris Grant. Gasper out at centre half back. And I reckon that makes a lot of sense by Danny Frawley. Chris Grant is the best forward. Gasper is the best defender for the Tigers, so match them up. And they give Grant plenty of space. You can see Demetina getting ready for this centre bounce. Darcy went early. Tiffendale held his ground. Little kick to West. So West has got the job on Knights. Good kick to Curley. Curley's got the job on Bowden. Goes to full forward. Brown front spot. Built it away at the back by Tawny, back to Brown, kicked towards the front of the square. Dimitina, Libba, well played Bowden, Libba, manhandles him, gets rid of him. Got terrific tackle, Dimitina on Campbell, good umpire. Knights is actually running around tagging Westy. Westy's just running his own game, trying to get free, and Knights is going around to him. Looks like he's having a change off the ball here now. He's pushing forward for a breather. Let's have a look at Libba. Ball on the ground, Libba desperate. Gale only as far as Brown, back to Johnson, touched off the boot, looks like rolling out does. Boundary throw in. She has some intrigue already in this one, and we've only had two shots on goal. We've had three centre bounces, and at each centre bounce, Chris Grant has flown in off the line at centre half forward. Gale and Darcy. Darcy almost took it, and then Hudson had a crack at it. Cameron went forward. Grant, good tackle by King, didn't get too high. Dimitina, Libba, doing well, kicks it out very wide. Hudson's got to run for it here with Kellaway. Neither of them all that quick. Hudson gets around, lovely kick to Curley, found him. Not quite, at the back, can't quite break through. But wonderful handball, Curley misses. What a handball at the back. Terrific handball by Nathan Brown, just instinct, shot it over the back to Curley and a bad miss in the end. Well, his form's been that good already this year, Nathan Brown. If you blew the whistle right now and picked an All-Australian team, he's in there again. He has been sensational. So Curley misses from 15. 
Bowden doing the kicking in. He's one of the better kicks in the Richmond side. Makes sense. There's actually, uh, I haven't seen this before, 17 men in the Bulldog zone for kick-ins. Tell you what, it was a shaky kick from Bowden and a shaky pick-up from Chaffee. 17 in the zone and they've made it turnover. Curly short and he had options. Touch, touch. Jim Siracusa. Johnson should kick a goal. He hooks it back. He misses. You... Who's got the big, biggest crowd support here? It's a Bulldog home game. It's pretty even, isn't it? Pretty even, Bruce. Yeah, it sounds even from down here, boys. And, uh, the matchup on Johnson, Robert Walls, uh, Matthew Rogers has had a good season up forward, but uh, he's now playing back on John, who's playing forward pocket. So Cameron does the kicking in. Do you reckon the Doggies have unsettled the Tigers at all early or not? No. I reckon they've been just a little bit more professional, but they haven't really unsettled them. Gee, that's a good kick to Richardson from Bowden. So Cameron was able to get it to Bowden, to Richo, to fall forward. Pettifer waits down, good mark Murphy. Cut the youngsters on one another. They can break here. West uses Smith's run. Bounce doesn't sit up for him. Hit the sand. Then decides to unload. Not a great kick, he got distance, but the Tigers are everywhere. Now the Doggies, Hudson back. Brown sweeps it, Dimitina back to Brown. We know how well he can kick it. Can he go all the way? Just about. He does. How oh good is oh that? God. Hey, he's Matthew Knight's been moved to a half forward flank. Clinton King at, in at the centre bounce. Tackle six to one for the Bulldogs. Darcy goes early. Doggies lead 14 to six. Dimitina pushed off it by Broderick. Gale down low. Knight's first real touch. OK, did very well. And now they're released. Bounds a man to go to. We know he's a probing kick. Goes to centre half forward. Hilton at the back. Almost Richardson. He'll be disappointed. Murphy for the second time down back. Brings it away. Uses Penny. Penny to centre wing. To space really. Johnson and Rogers. Johnson gets rid of it in a hurry. Cameron against his old mates. Sweeps the handball. Not bad. Gets it to Bowden, becoming prominent. Little giveaway. And then decides to go long to half forward. Richardson, Richardson, no. Not this time, Hunter at the back to run off. Richardson looking at the umpire for the free kick. He's just got to stop that. You've just got to accept what goes and get on with the job. Back to Dimitina. Back to Hunter. Confidently to Penny. They've switched it up all right. Must be accurate. Harrison's the run. Knights runs him down and gets him holding the ball. Yeah, well done by Nida, and that'll lift his confidence, plays on with the short pass to Tivendale. Tivendale short again, not such a good kick, and goes straight through Cameron, who made a mess of it, and then Smith off the ground. There's still some nervous players out there right now. And, and I reckon Richo's one of them. You see here, he gets a bit of a knock to the chin there, puts the arms up, looks for the free kick, looks at the umpire, you can't do it. You've just got to get on with the job. Go for the second effort. Now you make your action while it's there, but once you don't hear it, you just chase it out of there. Gale again, probably just won it. Little gear, free kick, I think, for the Tigers, and it's going to Bowden. Already important here, Bowden. Getting so much of it, the kick to the pocket, Ottens again. Gee, you nearly pay it, he had so much of it. West goes back to Hunter, he's got some pace Cox is just about their best kick with Brown oh, look at that beautiful. from the back, to Gian Siracusa good kick in board, he's a good player, finds Johnson heart of the centre square, to Hudson they're clean the doggies, they're clean Hudson lovely kick to Brown half follies it, give misses so suddenly a mistake, Knight's doing well here, back to Gasper Knight provides a shepherd on Grant sweeps it to Gale Couple of options, back to Hilton. Now how clean can the Tigers be going forward? Okay to Tawny, he'll sweep it, uses Holland. He's got uh, Kellaway short, he's gonna go with a handball. Kellaway wants to bounce, finds it, back and board, pause, handball, Tawny, Cameron, needs a good kick here, decides to set it up. Can Richo get involved to Rottens? Rottens, oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Just beat them all. Beat two of them with one hand. Gee, when you see Darcy going back, you think, oh, he's going to pick it off here. We've got uh, the big fella Rottens will just be held a bit by Penny, and that'll take away his jump, and Darcy will pick it off, but he's just got the left mid on at first and didn't let it get to them. Control of the footy was brilliant, wasn't it? Yep. 
soft hand to just bring it back for him. He sent him like pumpkins. He'll kick his second, and it'll be two points in it. He's got two. And Zilla has just come onto the ground, Dipper. Yep. You, you yeah, yeah. Is Rogers. Rogers there replaced there, and uh, that's the first move the Tigers have made off the bench. Number one tagger for the Tigers, Zilla. West has got it out twice for the Dogs. He's about to do it again as he gets it to Hunter. Hunter to full forward, sits it up. Grant and Gasper Chaffee, well done. Well done, Chaffee. Not often you see him coming over the top like that. He's a, a sit-on-the-ground type. Bowden so important early here. Zilla immediately getting involved. Richardson should mark, doesn't. Goes at the back, chance for King. He'll take Ellis on and use the handball. Chaffee, he's worked hard here, back to Richo. So Richo, little left footer, sits it up. Cameron and Murphy. Ball comes down to Cameron. Can he use Ottens? He does. Ottens brilliantly done to Hilton. Left foot close. Very close. Gee, Ottens again in the pocket, finding a way to Hilton. He is so confident at the moment. You watch him. Oh, OK, we've got the... Yeah, that's a cough up and a touch on the other side. So Cox, their kicker. And Joel Bowden's the other one. Uh, Libertor out the middle. Who's had five possessions already, so they'll need to tighten on him. Gee, a terrific it. call, Dipper. No good going to the little bloke. Bowden to fall forward. Ottens has a chance here. Not quite. Gee, there's a finals feel here about this match, isn't there? Oh, it's Absolutely. great. No good going to a little bloke with a long kick because the ball hangs in the air that uh, certain amount of time, two or three seconds, and the big fellas will just get there and swamp him. I feel like Richo's up the ground and leaving it for Ottens in the goal square, isn't he? Yeah, and I think that Ottens is in form, so give him the space and give Richo a chance to run around across half forward. They're actually a little bit slow with their decision making around the middle of the ground and Richo's actually leading past where the ball's going so he's not finding himself in the thick of it good mark Harrison West was in front but it was gone it was meant for Harrison from Cox Libra again Hilton cuts across in front of him he's pretty desperate there Rory Hilton Harrison was his opponent Harrison's got a few touches of the ball so he's pretty keen to make amends there and he did it well 70 meters down the line Chris Grant says to the rest of his forwards get away just leave me one out Bowden's had six kicks Smith's kick this is a chance Cox he's just as good as Brown that's a wobbly 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 throw to goal a very good miss a very very good miss there's a Tigers bench. Centre breaks 4-0 for the Doggies here. You mentioned that Bowden's had six kicks, Bruce. Uh, four of those have been from handball receives. They try to get it to him every time. Darcy to centre half forward. So 5-0 out of the centre. Chappie doing well, but straight to Hunter. He's been busy early. Basically playing as a winger, pushing into the back line. Almost a Sean Wellman role about him at the moment. Here's Cox again, so often on his own, and so often delivers just like that to West. He'll get it back easy. He might too, Dipper. He's gone short. Well, no, Cox hasn't got an opponent at the moment. He's playing spare man in defence, but he's running forward at every opportunity. Brown, got it. Can he turn his man? No. <laughs> he wanted it. Their, sh their short foot passing is as good as anyone in the competition, the Bulldogs. Right, now Grant is the intended target here. Unless he gets one on like that. And we saw here a few weeks ago, quite a few weeks ago, little Brady Johnson, who's got the ball at the moment, had the absolute yips. And depending on how his night will go, will be this kick. Bulldogs have had 18 possessions inside their forward 50. Tigers have only had five. And that's something that Richmond have to be aware of. Expect the unexpected because this Bulldog team will short the ball when you don't expect it. Kicks from 50. It's a good kick. It's looking great. It's another goal. Is it for a big night? Well, Curley missed one early, but the conversion's been good. You take Brown, Cox and Johnson's last three. You look at the doggies too. At each bounce down, they're doing something different. They're either all in the goal square. The next time, every one of them is lined up on a direct line between the goal square and the centre circle. They're mixing it up completely. And with a big zone, a big flood zone in there, they were still able to find Brad Johnson on the burst. 
There he is. Stephen Ziller will just put the face mask on him now. Clinton Kins is coming off with the blood rule there, and uh, we've got David Burke coming on, and also another change has been made. Fiora's on as well for Broderick. And he's picking up uh, Cox, I think. Well done, Knight, to Campbell. First time really out of the centre of the Tigers. Oh, and again almost. Penny just got it away from him. Pettifer taken down. Ellis under pressure. Tigers need the next goal. There are a couple behind early. Murphy hard and high, doesn't go that far, but Smith marks. The Tigers are getting murdered in their forward line for crumbing players. They've got big timber up there, but unless they catch it, which uh, Ottens has done two times already, the doggies are clearing everything that goes to ground. Smith kicks a beauty. And then Curley gets away much too easily. Little short one to Croft, found him. Foot passing's terrific. Danger here, back inside. Curley, 45 metres out, Hilton holds him up. Holland puts one on him as well. Holland now gets a high one, does he? Luckily, I think, in the end. Jim Syracuse of the tackler. Got an extra man down there, this area, because the doggies are playing Hunter in defence. So nice, he'll get booed every time he gets it. So will Campbell, you know that. There's Chaffee. Liberal will probably get booed as well. Tawny gets it from Chaffee. Richardson's the target. Stopped and propped instead of flying. Smith, Hunter, he's been very useful. They're away again. Haven't seen much of Grant. He put some physical pressure on early. Just got extra numbers in defence, the Bulldogs. So, as Dermot said, they're clearing it easily because it's about four against uh, four Tigers against six Bulldogs. They're on here. Gian Syracuse gets it from Hunter. Strolls away and then goes to the pocket with a kick that's cut off by Bowden. He won't be happy with that, Terry Wallace. He wants them to keep it into the corridor and Nathan Brown where he leads. Bowden to Gale. Cameron's running for Gale. I reckon he'll get him here. He does. So Cameron at half back. Almost a centre wing. Rogers off the interchange. Short kick was good. Found Chaffee. Next one has to be Richardson. The next ball should be at Richardson or one of the tall timber. Ottens is the go. Oh, he's held down. Gasper's gone forward. They hold him up, the dogs. Good tackle from the front, though. That came from Rogers. Ball out wide. Important kick away by Penny. Only as far as Hilton. He's got some options. Goes short. Finds Knights. We know how well he kicks it. Richardson goes. Pops it up. Finds him. Oh, he misses. Misses the lot, Richard. Hunter to the line. Gee, Richardson struggling here. Second effort, non-existent, Matthew Richardson, and you've got to be better than that. Gee, Western Knights, we saw in the, uh, the build-up to the game when they fronted one another in round two. I tell you what, Knights, he was fantastic there. He ran at the ball, made it his objective. He could have quite easily have tried to take out the man. He's had six possessions already and been very good. Tiffendale, good tackle. Dimitina on him, ball and up. Gasper contested that boundary throw in the forward line for the Tigers because Chris Grant has dropped into the defensive 50 for the Bulldogs. That's the reason Darren Gasper is there. Just on the end, the change bench boys, Richard have already made four changes to the Doggies, none. And also Clinton King, the uh, young fellow who goes in and out for the Tigers, are in the rooms with a split webbing. Thanks, Dipper. Otten's over the top. Curly, well played. Out crumbed again, Bruce. They just cannot get one off the deck. She Penny tried something clever there, but Gasper read it best. Goes to Tawny to full forward. Chance at the back. Richardson made a contest. Rogers can't quite get there. Hunter escorts it over the line. There's big space out on this fat side of the ground when the ball's coming in from the other. And there was big space for Richardson to lead into already forward, and they need collected that and opted to stay at home in the goal square for a contested ball. Brown to Curley. We saw the interchange for the dogs a moment ago. Not used as yet. Coming from Dipper. So Ellis at half back. Running harder. The dogs too. They're flooding back and coming forward in waves like this. So Curley doing well on Bowden even though Bowden's had plenty of it. Curley again from uh, from uh, Smith. Poor kick though. Poor vision. And uh, Holland goes back. Can Cameron make it? He can't quite. It was an awkward kick to him. Could be a turnover. Harrison from Hunter. Good vision to Murphy. Murphy will go short to Hudson. Hudson's got Kellaway to take him on. Little give not so good. Hudson wins it again. Well, he's got space. Uses Murphy. Sidestep was terrific. Wants liver. Can't quite get him. Delivers beautifully and finds Grant. What about the pace of Murphy? The first three steps when he received that handball, 
They were just lightning. He actually put greater space between him and his opponent. Watch him get it here. Bang, 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 bang. He's just left Andy Callaway in his wake. And give a rap to Hudson too, uh, Jeremy. He was yep. out of the contest, got Clever. the ball back up and held the play. Well, this is one-way traffic at the moment. I know what, this has taken a few clucks above head. Captain can make a statement here, can't he, Grant? Oh, yeah. Kick four in round two when the heat was really on. Let's see what he does from here. Johnson kicked from this angle, but probably 10 metres further out. He's kicked 30 goals this season thus far. They're not shell-shocking the Tigers. They're just being totally outplayed at the moment. So we're right behind Grant. So are you at home. It's a good kick. He's oh. drilled at home. They can't miss from there. And those two men on screen, Wayne Campbell being tagged by Levitt. Campbell's only had one possession 24 minutes into this first quarter. Tigers uh, can't deal with uh, the Bulldogs five-man forward line. Hunter playing loose in defence as the sixth man. Well, this time Richardson takes it from Knights. That was great play by Gale to Knights. Can he make it all the way here, Richard? Oh, yes. Distance. Oh. He could certainly look. He could do anything. He'd go <laughs> off the side of the boot. He could kick it 70 metres. But... He's gone back a fair way, uh, Derm. He's going to get plenty of run-up and momentum, and that's the way to do it. He needs to almost get into that play-on mode, doesn't he? Set shot, he'll struggle. But if he can get into a play-on run... It's not bad. Not going to be a goal. It's right there, and Darcy on a pose really built it over the line. In the end, too close to the man on the mark, and had to lift the kick. Well, in the opposition's team, when Richmond were kicking in, the Doggies had 16 men in the zone. The last four were directly across the centre, and we have a look at the zone employed by the Richmond team, and that's about a 14-man zone, 13-man zone, so it'll be easier to get through. Penny to Brown. He's not bad on his right. He's better on his left, but he did well to West, so they've worked it to the 50 defensive. Nathan Brown's one of those players. You look at him and think, which foot is his natural one? So, Scotty West, called to go now, back to Penny. Penny sits it up, he wants Hunter, cutting it off, uh, good mark from the front. Otten's having a terrific opening turn. Uses Cameron, good kick to Burke. So Burke has just come off the interchange. Finds Hilton, gee, he found a way there, it was a good kick by Burke. Good kick, he put it to the spot, just out in front of the goal square. Hilton knew that he would look for that position. Hilton, who's been playing on the wing, Put himself uh, in a good spot, took a mark, didn't even have to contest in the end. I just reckon it would be good if Campbell was put in the goal square, isolated there for the next five or six minutes, I'll give him a chance to take a mark and kick a goal against Liver. Otten's very good at centre wing, taking the mark. Hilton's kicks a goal. They needed it. They got it. Yeah, good move this. Uh, Danny Frawley's put Matthew Rogers in the goal square and skinny Robert Murphy against him. He'll be hoping that Rogers can outmark the skinny fella. We saw Rogers do that very effectively in Perth this year when he kicked five in tandem with Richardson six. But again, the doggies. Smith, Tawny, not quite. Danger here. Brown gets his hands on it. He does. Terrific handball to Gian Siracusa. He's skillful. It's a good looking kick. He's just missed to the near. That is a worry, Jason Tawney on Nathan Brown. Nathan Brown, such a dangerous player, and Tawney looks a little bit nervous against him. So Chaffee running hard to take the kick in here. You look down the other end of the ground, at the top of your screen, there are two Bulldogs. Everyone else, so you go up to the centre of the ground, they are in the zone. There's 16 men in this zone, and it's going to put some pressure on them to keep it in. To Campbell's kick. 50-50 really, they've got a number at the back, but Hudson might beat them both. Kellaway brings him down, Tawny's back turn, okay, Zilla did well to Kellaway. Good kick required, and he's done it. And Fiora's taken a clever mark. Hands were really good there, Fiora. Lovely kick to Cameron. Tigers on the counter here. Cameron decides to go down the line. He's got Hill turn, he fell over. Curley comes in. Curley's second half of the first quarter has been okay. Cameron almost within range, loads it up, gives it all he's got, and Otten's again. He's the best man on the ground in the opening quarter. I've got to say one thing about uh, Todd Curley. He's finding a bit of the ball, but he has got a set of blinkers on at the moment. 
he cannot have he can't see anyone five meters to his side he's getting taken down on his nine possessions already they're getting to him just on the death when he's going for the disposal and it's a turnover just about every second time what do you think the big fella will do Dermot check side it or drop punt I reckon he likes running onto the left but Rowan Smith's got a bit of toe and might get to him could Go be the back. last shot check for side. goal in this quarter he's kicked two Got to go check, doesn't he? He's a South Australian who kicked the check side and he goes. He's kicked three. Was he kicked it? What a corner by Brad Ottens. Remember the turnover he created to give Hilton the, the third goal and he's kicked three himself. He's been actively involved in their total score. Leon Cameron kick was a beauty. Uh, that's a good kick. It just gives the uh, forward a chance to run back. We see here Todd Curley. Now, he's kicked there. He's knocked off balance. It's a poor kick. Cameron gets a second chance. Bang on the left foot. Covers 60 metres. Forward running back like that. Defender really hasn't got much hope. I'm not sure if he's good for the team having Todd Curley up there because it's almost like you don't want him to get it, even if he is getting it against Joel Batten because he keeps turning it over. Darcy flips it out. There's Curley. That's so he's, all right. He's had 10 posies. West has been good at getting it out. How important this last half, last couple of minutes been to the Tigers? With two goals, they might get a late one. Ottens right on the siren. The siren's going to go in a moment. Kicks to fall forward. It's gone now. Was he outside his range there, Ottens? I think he was. Just about time for Terry Wallace. Be interesting to see if he makes a move. Maybe Craig Ellis goes on to Ottens. Penny goes on to Richardson. He's been outclassed, hasn't he, Luke Penny? At the moment. So who Shalek got the in. points? Who got the points in the first quarter? For the... For the well, I'd say for the majority of the quarter, the doggies controlled it. But as I said, it's a long way to go. I reckon there are quite a few nervous Tiger players. Uh, Tawny, Andy Callaway, very jittery early. Not saying they took their eye off the ball, they were just dead set nervous. Well, it's all set up, isn't it? Early days, 33 to 28. What a big match we've got tonight on the Seven Sport. Seven Sport. Watch out. The AFL Premiership season. International Rugby Union. With the Bledisloe Cup and Tri-Nations. The Winter Olympics, World Figure Skating Championships, Australian Open Golf, the Davis Cup, Sports World, and Seven has the Ashes Tour. Watch out. Seven's football telecast. Proudly brought to you by Tui's New. Give that man a new. The Snoopy Master of Disguise Collection, now at McDonald's. And Mitsubishi Motors, driving your world. Hudson back, Brown sweeps it, Dimitina back to Brown. We know how well he can kick it. Can he go all the way? Just about, he does. How good is that? They were rolling, weren't they, the doggies? But the Tigers got the last two. Grant Johnson, Croft, Brown, Cox, Ottens with three. Let's go down with uh, the big dipper who's got Greg Hutchison. I certainly have, uh, Bruce. Uh, just at one stage, Hutchie had uh, five zip out of the middle. Um, you know, the dog is all over you there. Yeah, got a bit of a tidy up there, Dipper. The boys have just got to get a bit more representation around where the sweeper role is for the Bulldogs, so we've worked on that, yeah. And you've certainly got yourself back in the game for a young, uh, talent, uh, Ottens. I mean, he's just uh, been terrific so far. Oh, he's a talented player. He marks the ball really well, but we need other players to contribute, not only just the one player. And you've been working off the bench as well. You've certainly uh, been trying to change that four line around. Oh, we have. We went in with a few different options up forward and we can't rely on Ottens and Richardson all the time. So we've had a few good options there over the past couple of weeks as well. And the news on uh, Clinton King, have we heard? Yeah, he's got a crook finger. I'm not exactly certain how he's travelling, but it doesn't look too good at the moment. And Nida's all right as well? Yeah, Nida's good. Yeah, he's okay. enjoying himself. Good on you. Yeah. They were working on him thanks to him for a quarter time, but he had a terrific opening term with five kicks and three handballs. Pretty brave too, wasn't he? I mean, he just went the ball and accepted whatever I cop I'm going to wear, and he went the ball, and he was brave. Well done. I reckon the doggies playing a seven-man back line and running so hard forward, they're a bit taxed physically, and that'll play a part at the end of each quarter. I reckon Richmond will have their best portion of each quarter right in time on. Start of the second quarter, Friday night footy. And he's still on Ottens. Terrific opening term. Dogs lead by three goals at one stage. They lead by five points at the end with the Tigers deep in attack. Gale went hard with Darcy. Libba and Campbell together. Ball comes out. Well done. Dimitina came out from West. Who else? Kicks to set a half forward. Tony got a sharp free kick against Brown. It's one thing Nathan Brown 
won't do. He won't give you exceptional foot pace and he won't actually work his butt off to win front spot. He's so clever he's been able to do that through his formative years. Gee, Knights has found Richardson a few times tonight. He's had nine possessions, Knights. Richardson up at centre wing. Hunt, Hunter's back there already. Close to the man on the mark again. Kicks it in high. Ottens couldn't get a run of it, but he had, tries to get out. Hunter's little handball was good to Harrison. Got to so, go short. He's got nowhere to go, has he? He's had to stop and then delivers towards the line. He's had to cough it up in the end of Gale. Gale sweeps it back in board to Rogers. Goes back to Campbell. So Campbell delivers to Harford. Good kick to Fiora. This is a promising start. He is a lovely left foot kick, this youngster. And that angle will suit him, Bruce. You're right with uh, Richardson again. Too close to the man on the mark. Forced him to kick it high. Makes it very hard for his fellow forwards. Felt for Harrison when he was coming forward. Hudson was the next man down the line at 100 metres away inside his own 50. Sometimes you've just got to read it and say, well, I won't win it, but I've got to come up and at least spoil the ball over the boundary. Take a good kick, but he is a lovely kick, this youngster, but not this time. Almost to the square, and it's a behind after some consultation. Geez, they're working on Ottens when the ball comes in high. <laughs> Physically, aren't they? Well, the, the coach, Terry Wallace, has shown a lot of faith in Luke Penny. He's kept him on Ottens after Ottens kicked three goals in that first term. So Cox and Brown did the kicking in in the opening turn. Smith's first kick in here. They've got some options, haven't they? Just like the Tigers, good kick to Darcy. Outside the 50. It's got Curly wide. Had 10 possessions in the opening quarters. Dermot said he coughed a few of them up. Let's see how he delivers this time. Out in front of Grant. Gives Gasper the run, though. Grant turned him. In the back. In the back. Free Umpire kick to Gasper, is it? Perfectly poised, five metres away. And we're entitled to say from here, not so sure, but you could not get a better position than the umpire. He might even sneak into view here, the umpire. Gee. Not yet. You reckon that's a tough call? I do. I do, too. <laughs> Kill away to Tivendale. Wolsey showed the fact that they go to him so often, Tiffendale, through the centre, kick to Burke, he's a chance, he's got it, he's had a good start, Burke, lovely kick to Hilton when he came off the interchange. What's going to happen, Wolsey? Well, we saw Simon Cox get a lot of football in the first half of the first quarter, and that's when they brought Burke onto the ground, because he's got the size that uh, demands respect, and Tiffendale on that left foot just put it out in front, David Burke ran onto it, took a good mark. This is That was the easy part. This is the hard part for David. <laughs> That's what I, mean, what I mean. What's going to happen now? Well, it's a long run-up. <laughs> He'll get tired before he kicks it. He is a mixed bag, isn't he? It's like the uncertainty of a golf shot, eh, Robert Walls? Uh, we'll talk about golf later, Deb. I'll tell you about uh, something that happened earlier in the week. OK, does he hook or slice? Anything. Let's watch the balls. You have a good view. He's 50 out. He's kicked it pretty well. It's just going away. We should fill everybody in. Wolsey had one of the sporting highlights of his life this week. He, he aced it with a hole in one. Well yes, done, Rob. And Andy Marr was there to witness it. That's what I'm pleased about. Otherwise, Dermot, you wouldn't believe me. Still don't. I reckon you've paid, Marr. <laughs> Talk about witnesses. He's actually taken credit for it. Here's Smith at full back. <laughs> Go short. So the Tigers attacking here. Five, three to four, six. Hunter in the back pocket. The match has settled, hasn't it? But it's a stride for stride, basically. I know we're only in the fourth minute mark of the second quarter, but they're going to have some fresh legs in the middle, the doggies. Nathan Brown still has not been used anywhere near the middle of the deck. Still in the goal square up forward for the Bulldogs. Murphy's been pretty impressive, but he puts his band in the back. That was terrific play by Penny. And then West looks to Smith. And then Smith goes wide. Ellis gives a free kick away. He'll be disappointed with that. So Richardson playing deep here, getting back and defending. Not a good kick by Richo. Campbell did pretty well against the smaller Liver. Handball poor. Jean Siracusa cops it up. So a comedy of errors. Tibetina was sure. Gets it to West. West leans back. Kicks to Brown. Not quite. Kellaway at the back. Tawny, I'm sorry. Back it comes to Croft. Give it back. Back to Brown. We know how beautifully he can kick the ball. He wants Smith, I think, but uh, it got more to Curley and Hilton, and then Hilton hacks it out of the air towards the line and finds it. Just that one when uh, Brown came out here with Croft, you've just got to sweat on your own opponent being Nathan Brown if you're, if you're up against him. You know in any way they're going to try and give it to them. Free kicks, one to eight in favour of the Tigers, so they're getting a good run. Darcy and Gale 
Robbins has come on for the Bulldogs. Di Martina got it from Liver. Has to work it back. We know that Cox kicks long. Can't get clear. Handball to West. Tigers doing well. Knights did really well. He hassled West. West gets it back. Hilton puts the tackle on. Boundary throw in. Good signs for the Tigers there. Yeah, some good tackling. And I think the Bulldog supporters are getting a bit concerned. Re reckon they're not getting uh, much of a free kick go. Uh, have that, you, is that's it, quite okay there. Has anyone noticed the umpiring? It's 8 one night. Have you noticed it? Well, I thought that free kick we said the umpire was in the perfect position was a bit dubious. The first quarter, I thought they were all pretty well there. So just outside 50. King's been warming up for um, the Tigers. He's gone back down into no, the he's rooms. He's gone back in the rooms there, Bruce, yeah. Thanks, Dipper. Yeah, they haven't really exhausted their bench, have they, the doggies? Garlic there as well, hasn't had a run. He can play forward or midfield. He'll probably play forward when Brown goes into the midfield. Knights gets it from Gale, then gets to Bowden. Haven't seen him for 15 minutes, but uh, very good early. Out wide. Campbell starting to work into the game. Good kick. Chaffee's on here. They can go. Chaffee's a lovely kick. One bounce. If he gets to 50, he can kick a goal. The goal scorer is vacant. Goes for it. Hooks it up high. Richo! They get back, had to go. Right decision for Matty Richardson, he had to go. And right decision by Mark Chappie to have a shot on the run because he carried that ball about 25 metres. He was entitled to have a shot. He was about 55 out, running at full steam. Just doesn't seem to be getting, like, great elevation at the moment, Richo, on the jump. Smith to himself, and then dangerous kick, but it was good enough, and Johnson's hands were good. Chaffee's an interesting player, I reckon, for the Tigers. He's done well. Yeah, he's playing on... He was stud on G in Syracuse and still... and ran forward. Bowden was just fantastic there. Didn't get the free kick away and then won the footy. Just didn't get enough on it. Robbins' second effort matched Bowden's effort. Curly, bad kick, mark taken by Gasper. Gee, a lot of courage by Gasper. That was a high ball, running with the flight of it. He didn't know what was coming in the opposite direction. He stood firm. Zilla wants a short. He might use him. Waiting for Richard. Gets it back, Richardson. Still on centre wing. Finds Burke. There's a chance here. Burke strides away. Lovely kick. Gee, that's a beautiful kick to Ottens. Good to see Richardson double up there. Win the ball. Looks like he's uh, struggling a little bit, Dipper. You're close to him. Is it yeah, an ankle? No, 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 no. He's just ran out of breath. He's been running around all night by uh, Ellis, and uh, he's worked very hard, uh, Matty Richardson, and uh, kept that ball in play. Uh, could have easily just let it go over the boundary line then. Well, Ottens kicked three goals in the opening term. Tell you what, when the ball goes to Richo, you just heart's in your mouth, just hoping you can get a clean glove on it. And this bloke, well, you just know, went five metres away from him, you know he's going to get it. So coming back, I don't think so, he's missed it. So the Tigers have had some shots in this quarter, haven't they? Four behinds to the Tigers here. There's that action which serves him so well. That's pretty well copy book. Yeah. He, he prepares well, doesn't he? Yeah. He goes back, he lines it up, takes his time, gets his run up right. He's a real pro. Goal's hard to get. Nine minutes of footy. Great hit. Doggies haven't scored. Four points for the Tigers. Hunter gets it from Ellis after a terrific kick in from Cox. This is when they're dangerous down the corridor. Johnson, Zilla. Holland has to get back. Johnson's leg speed could be a problem. Though Zilla's got a bit of that. Johnson's onto him. Ball in. They are so dangerous, the Doggies, when they win the ball on a quick break and the, carry, the ball carrying player comes through the centre square. When they have to go push out wide, it gives the opposition the chance to go back and get numbers into defence. That's our internet site, i7sport.com.au. Lots of features throughout this weekend, including many of the seven commentators. Chaffee again, seven kicks and a couple of handballs. Just too far for Gale and Darcy. Oh, Hunter sweeping Hudson. to Robbins. Gee, ordinary kick. Meant for Hudson, Croft, Lipper, well played, Curly, still Curly, goes for goal and kicks it. His best kick of the night, Bruce. So Richardson and Ellis, we saw Bowden a moment ago with Curly. They both had a heap of it. About nine possessions and Curly 13. And with that goal, you'd say that uh, Curly's ahead now, even though he's turned it over a bit in the first quarter. Bowden got it from Knights to Fiora. 
Very short to centre half forward. Rogers, can he turn his man? Murphy did well, really well. To Ellis, to West. The doggies have got some steam up now. West, one bounce, and then delivers to half forward. Johnson, the target. Tawny went early. Hudson, he's got Croft out here if he can get it to him. Clever. Johnson missed the target. West will get it. Will he? I think does. In trouble. Back to Johnson. Tigers hassling. Back to Brown. Through the middle, Bruce. If he comes back onto his right foot, Nathan Brown, he'll see them. He does now, Dermot. He's got Curly He's got free. Curly. Curly's the go. Hasn't He's at seen 50. Him. Hasn't seen him. And then wobbles it forward. And Harrison marks it. Boy, it took a long time to get there. You could see his brain ticking over there, couldn't you? Prof coming off while this gets lined up. Well, he's been no value after that initial goal, Big Crofty, on the forward line, so they'll rest him and maybe even throw him onto Ottens if Ottens gets some good hands or keeps his good hands working into the second half. Harrison played a blinder against his old team in round two. As he brought it back, he's hit the post. Six four to four eight. That handball by Ellis coming out of the back line 30 seconds ago. Richardson sat back and hoped that he would just miss the bounce and ball. You've sometimes got to go out and pressure your uh, defending opponent. Eagleton replaces Croft. That makes it hard for Ben Holland. He'll have to find another player now. There he is. Good setup. Cameron's on the end of it. Delivers to full forward. Richo's a chance. Oh, good mark. Great mark by Penny. Thought the kick was terrific by Cameron. Looked good. 50 metres. He's, Richo's not fine-tuned tonight, is he? He's just not quite on. Doesn't mean he won't turn it round. He's had six kicks and three marks, Richo. Brown goes short. Darcy, good stretch. Brown's pushed up now, and you find that the doggies do look beautiful by foot when he goes into the middle of the ground. He'll get it back here, just a tiny side chip. The garlic on now uh, for the dogs, and also liver off their boys. So they flood back the Tigers. Benny Gale sitting in front of the goal square. In case it's kicked long, he's there to put a fist on it. And that's why Darcy doesn't want to kick long. Goes wide to Cox. Stops and drops to Smith. Kicks it off one step such a long way. Goes to full forward. Grant is a chance. Hudson will kick a goal. He's missed. Missed mark by Benny Carl. He'd be disappointed with that. He was sitting back just waiting for that long kick to come in. Well, Paul, Hudson, Paul Hudson Walls, he will be wrapped tonight. He's playing on Andy Kellaway, who's brave and an excellent player. But it'll be the first time that Hudson will be able to out sprint somebody for a couple of years, I reckon. Cameron's kick was good, but Bowden, there was an element of danger. Couldn't take the mark. Smith goes back towards Hudson. Two bad signs by Richmond. Grant, well played. Really well played. Brown's within range. Goes for it. Does it again. Does it again. What a goal. Otten's in the ruck for the Tigers, but Joel Bowden and Andy Callaway went one-handed when the pressure was on, and that's not a good sign for Richmond. Have a look at Rowan Smith. Right on the other side of the ground, all by himself. Dar forward flank. Otten's wins it. Jim Knights is playing well. Cameron's getting plenty of it. Tigers need a goal again. Goes wide to Richardson. He's got a limp. He's got a limp, Richo. Couldn't get onto a full stretch there. Thought he did it about five minutes ago when he took that ball on the boundary line. It took him a while to get back to full forward. He's not 100%. It, it is a real testing time for Richmond at the moment because at the moment they're not coming up to this challenge of going hard at the footy. They've got one trump though, and it's the bloke about to put his hand on it. Ottens. Cameron works it to the line, keeps it in, that's clever. But uh, Ellis actually got a pretty good bounce in the end. Now he has to uh, think about it. Cox, in trouble I think. Back to Ellis, in trouble. To Eagleton, they're in trouble. Campbell, Brown, clever, brilliant. Did it wonderfully well to Garlic. And then Garlic goes wide. West versus Chaffee. Chaffee just overran it. West has got two to take on. Knights was strong in the tackle. Chaffee did well to Burt. Rogers. I thought it was a clever kick. Gets to the back. Ottens. Still Ottens. Can he go all the way? It's not a bad kick. It's a chance. It's a good grab. It's a terrific mark by Benny Gale. Gee, there was some footy played there. 
great footy play. How brave were the Bulldogs by hand within 25 metres of goal. And then Richmond turning around on the centre wing there. A three-on-one against Scotty West. And then a very good pair of hands there by the big veteran. And the big fella will be pretty happy with that. He's rucked for all the first quarter. Most of this second quarter, Otten's taking a turn on the ball at the moment. The big fella's gone forward. He'll kick this. Knights and Tibberdale off. And Gale kicks the goal. Uh, so Tim and Dale also off uh, for the Tigers. We've also got Knights and Cox is off for the Bulldogs. And Crofty now back at the goal square. Some changes there, as Dermot said. Just two kicks for Tivendale. Garlic out of the centre. So the Tigers get back within touch here. Mismarked by Tawny. Hudson, well done. Eagleton's a goal kicker. Not this time. It was a good run down by the Tigers. They forced an error. This is a good by Hudson. He actually waited a half second knowing that he was going to get body contact, but that was going to release Eagleton into free space. So Burke, slow kick, but he finds Zilla. Uses Broderick. He's just come off the interchange. Broderick wide to Holland. He's got good hands. Lovely mark. Lovely mark in front of Penny. Gale goes for him. Ellis. Went the mark. Lovely hands. Cameron was a good handball coming out from Fiora. Campbell's kicked the goal. The captain's drilled it. Terry Wallace seeing a good lead eroded again here. Much like the opening quarter. Eight Richmond players in their own forward line at the moment. Eight Richmond players in there because the doggies playing loose man in defence and they don't want that. So Richmond going back there to man him up. Darcy. It was a low bounce and he got it best. Low in the fact that it didn't get up high. Gasper just leading Grant to the footy. Grant's given us one piece of football magic here in this turn. Great effort by Gasper not to let the ball through. Bouncing ball coming at him. He just made sure he got the body over it and he locked it up. Yeah, Matty Nice is running up and down the boundary line just staring at the coach's box. Saying, I want to be back on. Get me back on now. Nine free kicks to one. Tiger's weight. Have you noticed that down there, Dipper, the, the umpiring? It's nine to one, the Tiger's way. Not at all, Bruce, no. So just outside 50, dogs in attack. Zilla belts it away in a hurry. Richardson leading Ellis. It's getting very wide now. Ellis will force to the line. Ball still in. And Campbell helping. Campbell being opposed by Garlic now. He had liver in the first quarter. Hasn't had a great game to this stage. He got that last goal, which will lift his confidence. But you see Garlic has got touch on him. He won't let Wayne get a yard free. Handball's heavily in favour. 67 to 45 in favour of the Dogs. Zilla turned his man very well and then torpedoes it with a goal square and Luke Penny gets back. He's done well, Luke Penny. Had a torrent first term and has fought his way back into reasonable touch. He's got a little bit better since Brad Ottens went into the ruck. So, <laughs> yeah. was, that, was that touched off the boot? So it's touched off the boot. The other umpire's come in and called this touch off the boot. No mark to Penny. So instead of getting the play on call, they get a bounce here. Oh, he might have stepped out of bounds when he went back to kick in, didn't he? No, no, it was touched off the boot. The other umpire's come in. But when he thought he was out of bounds, when he thought he'd marked it, did he go back over the boundary? Took no, it out? no, no, no. The umpire's come in. So Tigers get a break here. Broderick. Otten's held up, ball up. We can see Zilla. On top of that pack, number 19 for the Tigers. He's there because Johnson, his opponent, is having a run on the ball. Number six for the Bulldogs. Broderick's having a run in the midfield. Campbell's having a bit of a spell in the forward line. Late in the second term, the coaches like to give their gun midfielders a bit of a, a, bit of a breather. And look where the umpire runs back into here. So he's going to bounce and run back into the goal square. Is he? Or... Yep. Gets back. So is there any room? Johnson. Gets it away. Chance here. Coughlin has just come on. Held up pretty well in the tackle. Dogs forced to the line. Gee, Holland was good. Cameron uses it to kill away. Not the best kick in the comp. Puts it up high. Doggies have got the best spot. Johnson belts away. Coughlin built it off it. Hunter was in there. Ball still to be won. Dogs trap it in. They could be in trouble. Comes out finally. Eagleton gets it out. Campbell hooks it back. Hard ball to be won. Ottens. Gee, they manhandled him. Burke, Burke kicks the goal. Tigers in front. 
And Derm, you, you, you've picked it right through. Bulldogs start each quarter well, and then Richmond seem to have the run in the last 10 minutes of each turn. It's a taxing game, the one the Bulldogs play. It requires them to run the full quarter out. G West got a high tackle. No free kick. Knights back on the ground. Knights doing really well. I'll get it again here. Roderick. Tigers in front for the first time tonight. Start to taste yeah. it. Rogers to full foot. Or oh, Croft with courage. Ball still not won. Campbell over the top. Hunter. Croft. Mickey Martin like there, wasn't he? <laughs> to Brown. Stops. Hates to waste it. Doesn't this time. Murphy. Classy player, Murphy. Johnson's a kick. Well marked. Stretch that. Joel Bowden's pushed forward like he did last week, trying to expose his uh, opposite number and hopefully pinch another goal before half-time. Cox on for Hudson. So, Johnson. It's his 11th possession. Zilla been with him for most of the game. Brown. They play good tempo football, the Bulldogs. They just keep possession, short it round. Their foot skills are very good. Robbins. It's a good spot up by Brown. Robbins to Grant. Well played, Gasper. That's as good as it gets down back. Knights, well played. Terrific stuff. Chaffee, they should be all right. Holland, they played it well. Kellaway's got Rogers and Burke. Take your pick. Rogers gets it at half back. They've got some momentum, the Tigers. Can Hilton turn Murphy? Almost over the top. Burke's having a night out. Not this time. Overruns it. Johnson crunches him. Murphy under pressure. Burke got a finger on it. It was important. Zilla, well done. Gets it back to Hilton. Not a bad kick in the end. Bad bounce. How important is momentum at half time? The team that's got the momentum leaving the ground at half time here. Pretty important to uh, be in front at half time because the crowd will get right behind you. And what a terrific spoiling effort by Darren Gasper. Great pass. Chris Grant out in front. Big strong man. Gasper got the fist in. It was such a good kick that Grant thought he had his opponent done, didn't he? That's he did. why he went for the chest mark. Broderick, Fiora, another left footer, but he hasn't got the hook. Gee, Tigers have had a lot of the footy in this quarter. Not sure what the inside 50s are in this term. We might check that, but you'd think they've had a lot more. Hard to believe that the Bulldogs could have one free kick in an hour of football. It is. It's 13-12 the inside 50s. Tigers won more. Thought they'd had a bit more than that. They've had a lot more scoring shots. Cox goes wide. Gale just beat Darcy and Gale. Fiora's been handy. They've set up shot the Bulldogs, which means Richmond will have all the numbers around the middle of the ground now. Doggies have zoned back into defence. They're just going to try and protect it at the goal face. Holland pops it up. Can Richo take it or Bowden? And Bowden can. Yeah, they're going to try and pinch one before half time with him leading him from full forward. Push Ottens, push Richardson up. Last six or seven minutes, Joel Bowden's been playing from the goal square. Todd Curley went back with him and a uh, very talented play. You can see that he's head and shoulders above his opponent there. The fellow who's playing a good game for the Tigers is Ben Holland. Centre half back, bit of a turn in the ruck. He's had a dozen possessions to this stage. It's a great kick, Bowden. Tigers need this. They've really dominated parts of this quarter. Three points in front. Bowden with a long run up. High kick, hooking and missing. So in this term, the Tigers have kicked three goals, five, and the Doggies have kicked two, two. Eight shots to four. Now, this is an interesting ball clearance here. Cox taps it on the foot and plays on. He's going to try and find Darcy down the line. So Cox forced to kick to a pack. Penny big fly. Broderick, did he get caught high? He did. They are, they're being stiff here, the Doggies. He's ducked into that as good. That's copybook ducking. He is fitting and ducked that one, and the umpire's fallen for it. Zilla short, and go short again. Fiora, it wasn't a good kick. Robbins, Cox, still under pressure. Robbins has got him. Gee, they surge at the end of the quarters, the Tigers. So young Bowden about to come on. This is Patrick Bowden. Joel's out there right now, his brother for the opposition. Tigers desperate for a late one. Curly wide. So Penny versus Holland. Penny, I think. That's a dead heat. I think the umpire will say, give it to me. I reckon that was a dead heat as well. Rice right smile from Holland. He's happy. I thought Penny got it first, but it's such a hard angle. She. Fair call. I reckon that's as good as close as run as you could ever get, isn't it? 
Garlic. Good tackle. He can't get it out. Eagleton can't get a kick away. Campbell was really good there. Hooks it back. Cox. Well done, Burt. She's having a game. Burt. Goes in board. Campbell in trouble. Well played, Campbell to Ottens. He was absolutely one second away from being flattened, wasn't he? Well, if you want to pick one bloke in the Richmond team to have the ball inside 50, they've got him. David Burke from behind, reaches over, juggles the mark. Good decision to play on. He knows his limitations. He gets the quick handball to Campbell. That kick only went about 15 metres. I love it when blokes on their team recognise to hit the target with their kick, they have to accept body contact. That's a good team player, and that's what Wayne Campbell did. He takes his time, the big fella, doesn't he? He's a little bit like Matthew Lloyd. Go back to momentum. Kicks this thing. They'll walk on water going off the ground, the, the Tigers, if he drills this. Kicked a few in a row. Almost on half-time as he kicked his fourth for the half. He's put it home. What a big play. This Tiger guttural roar surrounds the stadium as Ottens kicks four. And the Tigers have kicked six of the last eight goals in this match. Well, well done by footy. David Burke. Quick handball off to Campbell. Gee short sharp kick and in front Campbell's worked into it hasn't he yep eight he possessions has. now uh, uh, you wonder why they don't have liver back on him because uh, since liver left the field Campbell's come back into the action and uh, there's young Patrick Bowden he's gone to full forward for the Bulldogs Andy Callaway his opponent would be great if the young fella got a touch before half time there's his brother up the other end of the ground I reckon in Terry Wallace's defense I reckon he recognizes that there's got a lot of midfielders who can't go the full distance on a game like liver and he needs to give them a breather and he's going to take some pain during that time and he's flooded his defence, he's got eight men in defence here left of screen, Terry Wallace which means that Richmond are going to win it on the right hand side of the screen every time Garlic, can there be a late goal for the doggies here? They need it clean, Ottens misses the target West, they've got one chance here, the doggies to fall forward, Bowden had a good fly, can Grant get to Gasper? He held on to him for a moment, Gasper's away the Tigers are going to have all the momentum at half-time. The kick to centre wing. Burke at the back, running out of time. Burke held up. But the Tigers have won the second quarter and they've won the first half. Eight, nine to seven, five. They kick six of the last eight goals of the half. Pretty significant, Bruce. You can see Wayne Campbell, you can see Matthew Knights, the senior players, they're grouping the younger fellas together and they'll go off a pretty tight group. They'll be pumped up. They know that they met the challenge that was always going to come. They had to wait four months for it and they'll feel pretty good about what they've done in that first half. Wayne Campbell giving some instructions there to young David Burke. Well, young David Burke, he's been around a while now about kicking, dropping the ball under the boot correctly. And there's still a lot of instruction there. Benny Gale talking. Senior players leading the way. Wayne Campbell in front there. Started Intense. off slowly, had a much better second quarter. Well, what a first half. It certainly didn't let anybody down, did it? Doggies are not gone by a long way. 7 5 to 8 9 here, back with a summary, and hopefully Lee Matthews after this. Well, I guess in a way you'd be disappointed if they didn't match up a little with one another at the start. This was Knights and Liver before the ball was bounced. Used to be a handshake. Yeah. <laughs> Play well, Knights. Uh, Liber off the ground in that second term. He was effective early, Liberatore, when the doggies were dominating the centre square. So at halftime, Otten's the standout, obviously, with four goals. Brown's been really good. 7-5 to 8-9. Tigers taking the lead late and have kicked six of the last eight goals. We saw Brown's two goals. I mean, his importance to the doggies in the first half. He was good right up front, Wolsey, and uh, gave and get back. And this one on the left foot. A little bit of left to right, right to left there in the end, but just so good with his foot skills. And uh, he's pushed up the ground now, but still hasn't given them all that much run when he went up into the middle of the ground. What about Ottens for the Tigers, Rob? Oh, just terrific, Bruce. They started him in the forward line pretty much from the goal square. Then he had a turn in the ruck towards the end of the second quarter. But three goals in the first quarter. He got one in the second. And uh, he's a terrific player. He reads the play well. He's got very safe hands. Rarely fumbles the footy. Todd Curley versus Joel Bowden. You've been pretty interested in that matchup. Yeah, I have. Look, Curley, he gets, well, they get to him a fair bit. 
and when he kicks the ball he's off balance a lot of the time but putting a goal on the board for himself and spotting up a few as well he needs to hurt them more by foot because Bowden is always going to be damaging but yeah I reckon that's just about a break even even though uh, Joel Bowden got a shot on goal late in the uh, second quarter there it's been all right what about Matthew Richardson, uh, Wolsey? Interesting, Bruce. Uh, he's presented pretty well. I'm just disappointed with a couple of his second efforts. You see, he's out of the contest there, and he just gives up on the second chase. And he's just got to be prepared to work, not worry about the umpires, not worry about any injustices that he thinks come his way. That's a better chase there. That's good to see. But we've got to see that 100% of the time. This one just flipped through the old fingers. Yeah, it? he's disappointed, but he's just got to recover and come back and really give a, a second effort to help his teammates. Look, I think he's on the verge of getting pretty close. Of course, it was Otten's in the first half, but look, Richo's good enough. We saw him last week get boats. Darcy's been really good in the centre square, hasn't he? He's done he, a good job. He has. He's a very good clearance ruckman, Luke Darcy. I suppose Terry Wells will be disappointed on him with his first effort, to, uh, his effort in the first quarter when he allowed Otten's to mark against him and Otten's direct opponent at the time. But he's a brilliant clearance ruckman. I reckon he's worth his weight in gold in there. And once again, you see that type of thing. Does that frequently. Yeah. You were pretty critical of Kellaway and Bowden at one stage, both going one hand to a yeah, hard footy. It was about midway through the second quarter. And this was a game which is going to test every on a built-up game and we see Joel he misses that one I think look there's a few nervous players out there and uh, the ball rebounded and uh, Callaway there you just miss seeing him go for the footy but it was only one hand up when it needed to and the body hard back oh, look it's a tough call uh, players have let themselves down a little bit tonight but plenty of them have passed the test as well let's go down to the Bulldog rooms with Andrew Ma. thanks very much Bruce Terry Waller surged into the pack of Bulldogs as they came off the ground at halftime gave them a big big rev they don't seem to have any injury problems Robert Murphy He's got a little bit of a back. They worked on that at quarter time. Chris Grant does seem to be favouring his right knee ever so slightly. And just in case you were wondering whether or not they were aware of that free kick count, which I think is 10 to 2, they are very aware of it in the Bulldog coaching box. Thanks, Andrew. Some interesting stuff there as we look inside. Take a break, you two. Dermot, uh, Lee Matthews will join us after the break. And I'm looking forward to Sports World. It's a great show anyway, but you've got Ian Thorpe on this Sunday. The AFL, in association with its premier partner, Carlton and United, proudly presents the 2001 Premiership season. Our guest tonight, Lee Matthews. Lee, welcome. Thanks, Bruce. You play both these two teams after next uh, Saturday night against the Kangaroos, don't you? Yes, the next two weeks. What have you thought of the first half? Well, uh, the, Bo uh, the Bulldogs always try to set up a game of what I call keepings off, where there's loose players all over the place. Now, if Bulldogs players are loose, Richmond players are loose and that uh, worked for the Bulldogs the first half of the first quarter but I think Richmond have started to come to terms with holding possession around the middle of the ground and not kicking the ball to uh, to where the uh, you know where the Bulldogs players are congregating and they've taken I guess control of the game at this point. What about the build-up? You're up in Brisbane, you tried a bit with Mickey Malthouse a couple of weeks ago, didn't you, Toing and throwing. I mean, uh, Fr Danny Forley's been back a bit and Terry Wallace has been right there, hasn't he? Oh uh, yeah, well the game was always just going to be a conventional game of footy. I mean, all the build-up about the so-called extreme aggressiveness or rough stuff, that was never going to eventuate and it hasn't. I mean, whenever, uh, whenever it's talked about, the two teams and the umpires, everybody knows this is... You know, most of that uh, excessive rough stuff just kind of happens by, for, by coincidence and uh, when it's talked about it almost inevitably doesn't happen. You've got the Kangaroos here tomorrow night, then you've got both these teams up at the Gabba. Yeah. You beat Collingwood here a couple of weeks ago, I mean, did, did you get a whole lot out of that? I mean, you really did set your team for that match. Well, on the basis the next time we play at the MCG, they won't be throwing these statistics at us. Uh, <laughs> we've at least won our last game at the uh, at the MCG. Like we've uh, the couple of years that Colonial's been there, we've won as many as we've lost here. So no one's mentioned much the Colonial factor tomorrow night. It's the Kangaroos who we have to beat. The uh, venue won't be a problem. You saw that match, and you made an interesting comment. I mean, the Kangaroos and SNG, there were a lot of goals kicked. Everyone yeah. was saying how good it was. I mean, was that a bit of a tactical ploy by you, or was that the fact? No, <laughs> just honestly, it was a fantastic <laughs> spectacle. But 52. To, uh, goals in a in a game of footy. I mean, and for instance, if you think, uh, I guess, for, from a coach's point of view, well, the Kangaroos have had 24 goals uh, kicked against them in the last three quarters, and uh, and Essendon have almost had the same. So. Uh, Certainly both uh, defences looked like sieves and uh, some, I don't think that's the way you want footy to be played. And as a spectacle, I don't think, you know, 40 goals a game is plenty, I reckon. 50 becomes too much of a shootout. Dennis Pagan's got a good record against you. Did you know that? I did know that. <laughs> that I knew. <laughs> you might be able to rectify. Just one on Lepich, because he is playing this weekend, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, just how delicate is that situation right now for you? Well, he's had 
plenty of time. He would have played last weekend, but got a bit sore in the back at training the week before. But, I mean, he's missed seven weeks since he was last on the field. He'll resume in the reserves this week. So he's certainly ready to get to that stage. But I guess when you've had two or three recurrences of a hamstring problem, you've got to actually get through a few games before, I guess, everybody will uh, sort of take a deep breath and say, well, you're right again. Gee, it'd be handy, wouldn't it? Hey, thanks for coming in, Lee, and uh, thanks, Bruce. good luck for tomorrow night, Thank mate. you. Should be a terrific game. Lee knows all about talking footy. He used to be on the show for a couple of years. I remember that well. This week, Lee, our guest is Scott Camparelli. You definitely led the way, there's no question, during the week. And then on Saturday, this interview, one-on-one, -on -one, I said to Malcolm on Monday, one of us has to go. Now, Rod came in here 24 hours later. Boy, I wish I'd known as much as he knew at that stage. I would have asked him some different questions. If Rod Butters knew that Malcolm was likely to go at that meeting on the Wednesday night, at that board meeting on the Wednesday night, if he felt that was likely to be the scenario, he shouldn't have come in here on Tuesday night. And they wanted him out sooner rather than later. And then the other part of that equation is that they wanted to give Grant Thomas time to audition for the job. Talking Footy, 10.40, Tuesday night. High stakes here, the Tigers haven't been in the final since 95, just once since 82 in fact. Bulldogs have been there for the last four years under Terry Wallace. Let's go down to Dipper Dipper. Clinton King, will he play in the second half? Yes, he's certainly standing on the ground. Uh, very important player for the Tigers he's been since uh, swapping out from the Magpies. So he's certainly back on uh, in the middle of the ground. Look. The game has given us everything at the moment. I just think that at the moment, uh, the dog has really got to get that quarter up and running as they have in the first two uh, quarters in the last half, but really finish off. And we've watched uh, the Tigers take, take control of the middle and also around the fall line in that uh, second part of the quarter. So pretty important time for the, uh, for the doggies. For me, I just reckon uh, the Tigers are just a bit more hungrier. Fair enough, Tipper. Let's see how... Uh... The sting is at the start of this quarter. Bulldogs just have to get some marks in their forward 50, Bruce. They've only had four in the first half. The Tigers have had 12. Wouldn't be surprised if the doggies hit the front during this quarter, but you'd still expect after about the 20-minute mark for Richmond to come good again. Lipper back out there as he started the match and gets the kick to set a half forward. Gasper's done a great job on Grant. Ball at the back, Grant, Power. well done. The handball to space. Johnson couldn't get a run at it. Tippendale's been quiet. Lovely kick to Bowden. So those left footers and Cameron running. It's been a busy player, Cameron. Bulldogs got an extra man in defence, Croft at the moment. Kick to half forward, Penny at the back, Otten's in the front, ball in. Very, yes. very conscious of having that extra player back because of the marking ability of Richardson and Otten's and Burke, who played well in the second quarter. It's almost conceded possession further up the ground to Richmond all night. Dipper. Grant at the back. Thought Tip had something for us there. Tivendale and Eagleton. Oh, sorry, no, I thought he was Liver. Now, Dipper, uh, uh, Crofty was just uh, looking at the bench, just, just asking him, uh, asking the bench if he should stay back there. So he's, he's, uh, once again, he's got his hand up for the bench. OK, we'll watch Croft. So, Eagleton gets a free kick. Ironic cheers around the ground. Yeah, big roar from the Bulldog supporters. They, uh, they've had it pretty hard, I reckon, in the first half, so they'd be happy to get at least one. Here's Curley, good kick out wide to Darcy, swings onto the left, so it's a good movement, goes in short, Hudson almost. So one of those nights, Hudson, he's played pretty well, but not much has actually come from it. Burke, Chaffee down low, out wide, has Spouton got it? He has, it must have been close. And Richardson by himself at the moment. King, can he get it that far? I saw Burke. over here, Bruce. Here's Richo, he is on his own, Burke's only going to find him. Grant gets back. Does well, ball still to be won. Gee, Chris Grant, what an effort. Came from the clouds there. Oh, what a superb effort. And look, David Burke's kick was good. If it had had a tiny bit more punch on it, would have cleared there, Chris Grant. And Alice Richardson's opponent was 80 metres away. Murphy. Gee, what a lost chance there by... Uh the Tigers. Good effort by Chris Grant to come back and not give a free kick away. Smith gets it from Dimitina, short to Croft. He's the spare man in defence at this stage. Eagleton would love a big game in such a pressure-packed environment. Out wide to Curley, continuing to get the footy. Sets it up. Hunter has gone forward. Hudson at the back. Left foot. 
He's so close to having a huge night, isn't he? There's that little lull, as I say, after half time. And it lasts about three or four minutes when the crowd don't get into it. Not many people get into it. It looks like Simon Cox sitting it out there with a the rug over the knee. And the and runner there, Dirk, on. Did you see the runner? He's just spent about the last 30 seconds talking to Craig Ellis. So you just cannot get 80, 100 metres away from a player like Richardson. You run off when you're a real good show to receive it down the ground, not on the toss of a coin. G Cameron's kicks a beauty. Bowden will get a free kick. Not paid. I thought he got a high one there. Di Martina threaded his way through cleverly and releases Garlic. Eagleton, can he finish this one off? He's just missed. Well, they need these the doggies. Hit the post. He's had two running shots for goal, Eagleton, and the first one was out on the fall under pressure. I thought Bowden should have got this. Just turned his body, um, took his eyes off it a bit. He's yeah. got to be stronger than that. And Darcy actually took the heat out of the bump when he saw the uh, the cough up. So, yeah, good decision by the umpire. Well done. It was. So Cameron, great kick a moment ago to Bowden. Look at this big zone in front of him. There's 15 guys, 16 guys in the zone for the Bulldogs. And they're going to force him to go short with this. It's on down the line again, short again. So they touch it three times to Chaffee. Now, that's the important one. Kellaway stood up, marked it. Scotty West has had a fair bit, but not a big game, has he? 14 no. possessions, but uh, hasn't really dominated. Zilla, been busy, Zilla. Darcy trying to move down the line. Really hasn't taken a mark around the ground, Luke Darcy. Need to get some out of him. He's been good in the centre, but not down the ground. King to Knights. Well played, Knights. Releases Holland. Back to King. He's 48 metres out. Little chip. Too far for Fioria. Good take by Ellis, but Hilton's got him. Goes back to Harrison. Good kick, Harrison, and he finds Eagleton. 7, 7, 8, 10, real stalemate here. The man you spoke of, on. Kept his eye on it, West against Holland. Croft has pushed forward. He's the spare man. He's pushed forward. Dimitina calling for it. Now, Brown the go-to. Well played. Tawny played him well. Cameron, perfect kick to Chippendale. He's got uh, Hilton out wide. He goes that way. Hilton at centre wing, to half forward, Ellis front spot, Ottens at the back was very, very good, got to ground and then holds up uh, Ellis for a ball up. Even in the periods where the Doggies have been controlling the game, if Richmond could find a crumbing forward, they'd be about six goals ahead by now. And we just see a replay of Craig Ellis, Richo sitting back in the goal square, he's got to push forward, he's got to make a contest. Nine point game, Fioria. Campbell hooks back to the hot spot. Richardson waits for the bounce. Curley's at the back. Burke's going to run hard. Nearly got him. Kick to Hudson. He's got <laughs> Croft on. He's a clever Hudson. Turned 31 in the last week. Goes to West. West to set a half forward. Hunters the go. Well played at the back by Holland. Hilton to help out. Wants the line. Finds it. You probably notice here, boys, Hunter's moved forward and Chris Grant's just playing between centre-half back in the middle, just playing that loose man across the, the centre there. Well, the fact that the Doggies are playing a loose man back means that Richmond can bottle it up and their small forwards leading are just leading into the back of opposition players so they can't get free space to lead to. King up and under, kick the centre wing. Here's Grant. G. Casper's a, comp a competitor, isn't he? Really does well there. And then Fioria takes it away from Smith, whose second effort was outstanding. They need to stand up here, the Doggies. They haven't kicked a goal since the 14-minute mark of the second quarter. And we've been playing seven minutes here. Tigers are on to them. Pushing the back. Goes back to Chris Grant. It was a good steal by Liver originally. Do you think the umpires look at the free kicks at halftime, Dermot, and say maybe we better get this uh, imbalance corrected? Well, there's no doubt that they uh, get told, like a coach, an umpire's coach would be telling them how they're going. Curly chipping in. You've still got to look for them when they're on, though. Oh, yeah. Joel Bowden has to tighten up. So too Matthew Knights. West is getting plenty of the ball. Holland work front. Hunter had a crack at it. Gets a second crack. Tackle OK. Eagleton needs to find a body. He gets it to Brown. Brown rides a tackle. Handball to Liver. To Tivendal from the front. Di Martina gets a good kick in. It's a goal! One or the other. No, Mark paid to Darcy. Mark paid to Darcy right on the line. One thing you notice about that mark, though, 
Darcy's barely taken a grab around the ground, and if ever there was a situation, he should stretch and take it in the hands. Everybody else is down. He's got the sail over the top. He jumped as high as he could and took it on the chest. He's lost confidence above his head here, Luke Darcy. I'm a, this might put a bit back into him. But significant telling, tiny little thing like that shows you where his mind is at the moment. This to put the dogs within three points, and he goes. David Burke's just been taken from the field. He's having a walk, and uh, young Pettifer's gone to the goal square. What about Lipper's ability to get that hard handball away to Dimitina? So important, wasn't it? Just terrific, because the tackle was right on him. He was able to get it away just right like that, quick on the boot. Starting to work into the game again, Lipper. Kellaway. So Dermot reckons they might hit the front of the doggies, as they did in their first two quarters. Zilla finds the line. Professional kick. And once again, uh, boys, uh, Chris Graves now moved back to centre-half forward in, in a true position. Yeah, good little throw out there. Teddy Whitten would have been proud of that one. Clever play. Knew he was blindsided to the umpire. Brown and uh, Gasper. Eagleton. He's been important, Eagleton. Just very interesting now. Ottens is in the ruck. Darcy's taken Ottens to the goal square for the Bulldogs. And uh, that's good play by Darcy because he's taking him out of the ruck contest. We see Grant will ruck against Gasper and win. Knights. Gee, that was good umpire because there was a tiger that went over the top. Grant's kick. Eagleton. So he's had 10 possessions, Eagleton, in a short time. Just smart play because Chris Grant in a ruck contest is too strong for Darren Gasper. 8-3 to three inside 50 this quarter for the Doggies. Yeah, start get, the quarter as well. Yeah, they do. To get the distance, he's almost going to have to run directly along the boundary line to get his big left hook foot into it, so he's going to be wanting to pass off. Brown goes early for him. Taking a lot of time here, be looking for options. He is a good long kick on the run. You would have thought this might be just beyond him. We'll find out in a moment. It's coming back, but it's not going to be a goal, so it's a behind after all of that. 8-8 eight, eight to 8-10. Eight, a few shots on goal already at the 10-minute mark. Well, pick a winner. It's tough, isn't it? I mean, the doggy's making the early running here. Well, I think it's just what we wanted, Bruce. It's a contest. We've got two teams having a real crack at it. Big crowd enjoying it. Cameron's kick looks outstanding. It is to Fioria. Wanted to play on, I thought. Does now, and quickly, oh look at this, That's they've right. got two on here, Kellaway should use a better kick, King, Hilton wants it, gets it, can go, straightens up, can he get enough on it, I think he can, and he does it, well played. Cameron's kicking was outstanding, was it, to set it up there. It just was the perfect bit of play. Full back kicking it to a player, get it out wide to the wing, and run it into the forward 50. Feel like the doggies need the next goal here, don't you? West, Eagleton, Knights runs him down, Ottens, well done, Libra. What a magnificent tackle by Liberatore on the big man. Talk about David and Goliath, Wolsey. Well, that's what he's made his reputation. Have a look at that. Twice the size of him, and he gets the tackle around the, below the shoulders, doesn't give away a free kick. Perfect tackle. And Danny for all he's turned the tables here, he's actually got seven Bulldogs in their own forward line this time, so he's made a uh, packed defence. Lipper out wide. Hilton has kicked a couple of goals. He's been handy. Cameron continues to get plenty of it. Lovely kick in board to Wattens. Four goals in the opening half. Knights has had a good match. Good spot up here and a great kick to Callaway. Was a great kick. He met that every step of the way. Andy Callaway, he'll try to uh, give it off, I would think. He's pushing forward, Callaway, isn't he? They've got some run, the Tigers. Where's Richo? He'll want to pass. He's led there. He'll give it off. He didn't want to kick it, Andy Callaway. So bowed him back to Callaway. They haven't quite been able to get what they want here. <laughs> Not at all. Darcy. Just, gee, Murphy, interesting. To Brown. To Croft, no, he doesn't want to go there. He wants to go longer. Gee, he's uh, put it in the Tigers, haven't he? Unusual. And then Gale uses Knights, who goes back. There's no one behind Holland, by the way. He's the last man standing. Short to Richardson. Can't turn it over here, the Tigers. It'll come to the goal. Lovely kick. Thought Ottens was a chance. Chaffee. 
Little chip, Gasper's a chance. Grant at the back. Oh, it doesn't affect the spoil. Gasper's taking a beauty. And gives Grant a bit for his measure. Puts him on his bottom. What a clever kick going into Gasper as well. There was a sea, an absolute sea of Bulldogs players within 15 metres of goal here. Let's have a look at this clever Chaffee kick. And Chris Grant puts the face mask on here. Now, just got a bit of his uh, nip into the face there. And that's why Darren Gasper pushed him to ground. Hasn't kicked a goal this year. And has kicked 12 in his career. So has he'll be a bit toey, do And all lucky ones. <laughs> has not kicked a goal this season. He has Good now. man. Fired up for all it. They've been outscored in the last quarter, in the last three matches, by an average of four goals, the Tigers. They may need a cushion. But right now, they're travelling like winners. It's only 14 points. Roderick back in the midfield, and his tackling's been very good. Just feels like it's a silly statement, but it's a big 14 points. Feel better for the Tigers when Gale's doing the ruck work and Ottens goes forward. That's what's happened now. Just smart enough against Darcy, isn't he, to make it a nil-all draw in there. Dimitina Lowe, Holland, gets out to Darcy, terrific tackling by the Tigers, West was wonderful to Croft, Croft takes them all on, like General Custer wasn't he, goes to 4-4, can grab to it to Gasper, not quite, clever, clever, great tackle, what a contest within a contest, Gasper and Grant. Oh, Chris Grant, you see the... Uh well, expletives, he's out there playing footy, but the expression on his face, he's saying to himself, that's as good an opportunity I've got to beat this gun player, but he's he's a smaller man, and he knows he should have doubled that one up. He's a good player, Gasper. Darcy got rid of Gale, goes back to Lever, Lever for goal, Lever kicks the goal! That's his first this season. They will come again, the doggies. Talked about Richmond will drop off in the last quarter. They can hardly win the last quarter this whole season. And the doggies have been very good in the first 20 minutes of each quarter. Just get the feeling now that they're just, just keen to get hold of it here. And Darcy, once again, not much around the ground tonight, but at the bounce downs, no matter where it is, gee, he takes a power of stopping. He's able to get two hands up. He puts body on body on the opposition ruck and he's still able to get two hands in the air, so he gets a lot of clean takeaways. He almost did it at half four, 30 seconds beforehand. This game's lived up to its build-up, hasn't it? Oh, it's been terrific. No easy goals. Every goal, hard earned. So Seven doggies forward again. Darcy wins it to Brown to centre half forward. Missed by Johnson, he'll be disappointed. Ball comes out, Johnson, left foot, good kick, front of the square. Grant and Gasper, ball on the ground. Terrific tackles, two of them. Grant was the second one, ball up. See, that first ten minutes of this quarter where the Doggies have had clean shots on goal from Eagleton and the likes, that's probably going to be pretty costly when you all tally it up at the end of the night. We see Kingsley Hunter come off. Great tackle there by Croft. Taken by Gale to Holland, out of play. Uh, under siege the Tigers at the moment. This is the period of the game where the Bulldogs could win it. It's the 17-minute mark of the third quarter. If the Bulldogs can kick a couple of goals in the next six or seven minutes, set themselves up at three-quarter time to be just in front, knowing that the Tigers have disappointing final quarters, could be significant. Gale gets rid of Darcy, right. uses Cameron. Cameron clever, Tawny okay, Cameron's got King short, he uses him, King can run, we know that, who's in front for him, goes short to Holland, that was good work Holland, he worked very hard, long kick, wants Richardson at the back, Penny takes a chance, Ottens, Ottens, he's in trouble, I reckon yeah, he's yeah. gone, I reckon he's gone, he turned into a rabbit, then he went burrowing, good decision. Garlic off, cops back on. It's no good ducking your head and saying, what about the free kick, umpire? Second time. Yeah, he burrowed into it. Rowan Smith, well tackled. Good decision, umpire. Brown at half back. Starting to cover ground. Brown as well. Poor kick. There's a couple in this quarter he's kicked directly to the opposition now. This big fella's had a terrific game. 17 possessions, playing at centre half back. Gee, King and uh, also Petter forgotten one another's road. Penny to Smith to Harrison. 
wants young Bowden, this is Patrick Bowden, first possession to Cox, good man to give it to, great kick to Hudson, this is what they pay Hutto for to kick these goals. Oh. Oh. Can't believe it. It was just going to test him the distance, and he thought I'll get a spot up here, Patrick Bowden had run through the line. Holland's wobbly old kick gets to King. King's been busy. Finds Ottens. He'll look for Richo. Richo's in the forward 50, about 10 metres behind Ellis. Up and under kick. Can Richardson get into the frame? He does. He gets rid of a couple. G. Libba was good. He stopped Roderick's run there for Smith. He did. Smith short. How big's the next goal in the context of this match? Next goal is huge. Bulldogs get it. They're only a couple of points behind, and the crowd right behind them. Good kick by Eagleton to Croft. Croft stretches Holland, kicks to Bowden and the centre half forward, misses the lot. Great attack by Johnson. Handball to the right man. Goes for it. Goes for it. And does it again. Does it again. Pretty excited, the Bulldogs, and why not? Great handball by Brett Johnson to the running Brown who goal. Pretty important for Benny Gar to get a touch on this. Sort of does. Campbell has been quiet in this term. Mark by Smith. This bloke is the guy they really want to turn it on in the next 30, 40 minutes of footy. They haven't got a great deal of run from the blokes in the absolute centre circle. They're going to need it off the back flank, and Rowan Smith's the man. This is what he does so well. Gets it from Dimitina, tries to set it up. Brown, Grant, good mark by Holland. He's a, pick pick oh, he's a good player. So Holland doing well to Gasper. Gasper's kick wide, interesting for Richardson versus Ellis. Good play. They've got the numbers, King did well, does it stay in play? Curly to put the pressure on, King was brilliant, well done. Back to Tawny, did very, very well, lovely kick to Richardson. Can Richo kick a goal? This will bring the house down. He doesn't. We're getting the bad Richo tonight. It doesn't mean that he's not trying his heart out, he is. But we're just not getting the good Richo. And that big supporter was trying to tell him to, uh, where to target it. It's, it's a mixed package. When he's good, he's very good. And when he's bad, he can be ordinary. But he can also be the match winner. Yeah, tell look. you what, May West would have loved him, wouldn't she? <laughs> out wide. That's probably too old for you, though. Well, Dipper wouldn't know May West either. <laughs> when I'm good, I'm good. When I'm bad, I'm really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to win it, Dipper? Uh, I reckon the guy... <laughs> Don't know you, Bruce. Come on. Thanks, mate. Darcy and uh, Gale. Gale did well. Campbell. Haven't seen a few of the Tiger Stars in this quarter. Kick to half forward. Ellis versus Richardson. Great mark, Ellis. Great right effort. He worked really hard to keep did. front spot, Ellis, didn't he? He could feel the weight behind, but he didn't falter and took a strong mark and the whack that came with it. You really saw that, Walsy, that Richo fatigued when he had that shot on goal and he's slow to get to that one. It's his first kick tonight, Ellis. Is it? He's had uh, eight handballs. Bowden at the back. Hudson. It's a lot of on-field time tonight. Had a lovely kick. Cox searches for it. We know he's a beautiful kick. He's at 52 now. Well, that's not a good result. It's that a dis disappointing kick. Had to put it to the front of the goal square. The runner will go to him. He knows he's made a bad mistake. Had to put it to the front of the goal square. Eagleton's had eight kicks this quarter. Rowan Smith's had seven off half-back. Ben Holland, ten marks at centre-half back for the Tigers. Chaffee out wide. Misses Knights. Ten minutes ago, the Tigers were going well, weren't they? It's a game of momentum. The momentum certainly swung the Bulldogs' way. And Dipper, a change down there. Yeah, uh, Coffee coming off and Robbins on again. Gasper and Grant. You fancy Grant in these situations. Cut off by Campbell. Eagleton to put the pressure on Campbell's hands were good. King's had a busy quarter. Back to Bowden. Bowden forced to go with the right foot. Gets to centre wing. Ottens and also Penny. Knight foots a tackle on West and it'll be a ball up. There's the internet tonight. So if you want all the details of this match, any injuries, reports, or whatever might come out of it, and what the ladder tells you at the end of the night, i7sport.com.au. Darcy, as uh, we described about five minutes ago, has pushed forward into the forward line for the Doggies, and big Benny Gale's gone with him. West was terrific. As Campbell tried to get it clear, Eagleton again, Hudson, doesn't take the mark, got a bit of a shove maybe. 
bowed and at centre wing. He's had a lot of kicks out there tonight. Wants Knight, stands his ground, but Harrison over the top. Well, it's pretty desperate stakes now. The players are really throwing themselves into it. I reckon that's a worry for the Tigers, Dermot. You've got Darcy playing at centre-half forward. Benny Gale, in effect, is centre-half back. Benny Gale won't be happy there. And this man, the captain, doing the ruck work, Chris Grant, up against Ottens. Ottens in the front. Down to King. Well-read Tivendale. Hardly seen him. Long kick. Big kick. Goal! It's a goal from nowhere. is that from a bloke that's been struggling all night to just load one up almost a Hail Mary and get it home he's a show though isn't he always a show and the he gets a foot on it too actually I tell you what have a look at this he hits the umpire but I'm not so sure it wasn't going to go on and hit the post no, probably a bit unfair it's close no doubt about it he hits the umpire yeah, it's hit the umpy and he was on the line. 90% of the time it's probably going to be a goal. It has to award it. It's up to him. And the ball has to completely go to the outside of the white line of chalk. So the Tigers by eight points. What a quarter this has been. The tempo's raised again in this match, hasn't it? Bad handle by Gasper. Robbins with fresh legs. Short to Brown. Half volley. Cole Pri oh. Absolutely brilliant. Eagleton doing well. So is Cameron. Ball up, I think. Umpire lets it go. Well done. Ball up now. How good was Brown? I reckon he was that quick. He was, quick. he was too quick for his teammates. They weren't aware what he was up to. He's a step ahead of everyone out there. He's remember a thinker, that, all right? Remember that handball over the back in the yeah. first quarter that he yeah. did? Oh, he's a real talent. That's probably just one of the little reasons why he doesn't explode pace-wise. He just thinks so quickly. He's always got away with it. Darcy to Bowden. That's a Patrick to Grant. 50 metres out. It's a good kick. It's a goal too. That's a star goal. Fantastic goal for the captain. Been a great quarter of football. Oh, terrific. 11-8 to 11-10. Who's going to be in front at three-quarter time? And I, I just think that Denny Frawley's going to have to use Ottens in the ruck in the last quarter. You can see the big fella, Benny Gale, he's just about spent the lot, and I reckon he'll need Ottens to ruck the last quarter, which means a goal kicker's missing up forward. Five to zip in the centre breaks this third quarter. And 15 to six to me over the match. For the favour of the doggies. Lippers kick, oh, West was well, great. West, he... Running with it, but he's off, he's off. Oh, gee. Now, the umpire probably couldn't tell from there, and he was off all right, but that's a break that's gone the doggies' way, and he's got Dimmer on out wide if he eventually sees him. He wants the corridor, though. Coming home hard, the doggies. The kick to fall forward. Grant! Almost. Chaffee, he's been a good player. To Kellaway, he's in trouble. Gee, had to get that handball away. Tiffin down under the punt. Brown's got him. It'll be a ball up. We've seen the first five minutes of the game, Andy Kellaway's confidence was not up there. And every time he gets it tonight, he's ducking and weaving and just hasn't got any confidence. We see him there, he's not quite sure. And very nearly gets caught holding the ball. Just gets a handball away. This is the tackle which was so important. Hudson just able to stick the claw on. Timotina in the pocket. Misses. You don't want him to have it in that situation. He's a good player. That's not his game. <laughs> what, there's some intensity out there. What a good game of footy. Free kicks for the best. 6 11 in favour of the Tigers. They go centre. Deep, deep, deep into what has been a wonderful third quarter of footy. Oof. Tawny gets it. She's short to Hilton, gets through. Knight's legs. His leg power's uh, starting to go. Knight's good kick by Smith. To Curley, this could be the last attack of the quarter to full forward. It's rolling through. The doggies are in front. Curley's kicked two for the match. The doggies will lead at three quarter time. Well, we're going to find out what sort of tickers in the Tiger tank tonight, aren't we? Well, they've been brave so far, but this is David Burke. He's been good, but once again, a small man is able to push him off the ball. I mean, he's a six foot four, six foot five bloke, and he's been pushed off and shepherded out by a bloke the size of a rover. 
Good effort by Robbins. Really protected the ball all the way through. Darcy up against Gale. Doggies lead at three-quarter time. What a quarter of footy. It took a while for him to hit the front a bit longer than I thought it would. But what a quarter of footy we're in for, Bruce. Sensational. I tell you what, the sizzle was good all week <laughs> and the sausage tastes all right right now, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, this has been a beauty. Well, the ultimate test for Richmond and for the doggies. But they've been brave, Richmond. I mean, you, you just couldn't... Ju it'd, be, it'd be nasty to pin one quarter if they go down on them saying that they weren't any good. I'd love to talk to you all night, Jeremy, but we're going to come back for the last quarter, and you're going to like this as we look back at 45 years of footy. 45 years of footy on seven. Proudly brought to you by Tui's New. Things were looking good for North Melbourne when Malcolm Blight kicked his 100th goal for the season in the 1982 first semi-final. However, a red-headed kid playing his first game had other ideas. Dermot Burrison kicked five goals to help the Hawks to a 52-point victory. The kid would go on to become one of the greats of our game. To his new. Give that man a new. Think so quickly, he's always got away with it. Darcy to Bowden. That's a Patrick to Grant. 50 metres out. It's a good kick. It's a goal too. That's a star goal. Fantastic goal for the captain. Spectacular goal in what was a spectacular quarter. The Doggies lead by four points at three-quarter time, 12-8 to 11-10. Really interesting with Danny Frawley here and Matthew Richardson at three-quarter time. So, is he laying the law down? Richo's got to have to lift here. Let's well, he go. needs a return out of yep. him, doesn't he? Chris Bond uh, is with Andy Marr. Thanks very much. Well, massive game, massive game. You blokes just keep on coming. Yeah, we do. And uh, I think we really got on top in the centre in that quarter and we were able to get our inside 50s up. And uh, I think Dars and the boys in the middle really helped us turn it. Granny's covering some ground. What are you actually doing with him? We're doing a bit of everything at the moment. So uh, obviously if you get up, you know, you just need your Grants and your West and your Darcy's really to have a huge quarter for us. And uh, you can tell by the boys the way they're going. Granny's pretty enthused, pretty ready to go. And have you stressed Richmond's poor fourth quarter record in recent weeks to your boys? Look, at the moment, I think we've just worried about our structure for this last quarter. We we won the ball, our fair share of ball in the third quarter, so we've just got to get our hands on it. Good on you, Chris. Thanks very much. Back to you, Bruce. Thanks, Andrew. You look away now, Tiger supporters, because in the last three games, three goals to 16 in the final term. Admittedly, the Sting had gone out last week. The just, just a huge test for the Richmond Football Club at this current moment. I reckon in crunch games over the last 10 or 20 years, they haven't passed the test. The Bulldogs have huge 30 minutes in front of the Richmond Football Club at the moment. Mighty roar goes round the ground for this big Friday night. Knight's got it from Gale to King to half forward. Ellis went really early on Richardson. No free kick. Penny goes towards the line. Ottens has been so good. Back to Knights. Knights had a long talk to the coaching staff at three-quarter time and they changed the board after they spoke to him. King, can Richo do it now? Ellis doesn't quite take it. Burke slaps it out. Was it a throw? Doggies wanted it more, I reckon. Just in that instance, and Smith comes away. Finds the target in Cox. Cox wide. Good looking kick to Hudson. Well done though by the Tigers. It was Kellaway. Back to Grant. Grant and Gasper's been the jewel of the night. The stats are low, but the intensity's been enormous. Robbins gets a free kick. Clever. Didn't really want to accept possession. Quick to play on. Forced to go left and wide. And finds Johnson. He's almost capable from here. He can kick a goal from here. He's 50-50 from there, Bruce. He's entitled to have a shot. If nothing presents itself, go back and have a shot. It'd be a tough kick for him because he, he actually swings them across the face from here, opposite to your normal right footer. So he's just got a match a Timmendale kick from that pocket. Seen him do him from here. It's a funny old kick off the bird. It's bad. coming back. He's kicked it. Damn How important bad. was that? The Tim moment's arrived for the Tigers. Uh, definitely. Don't, if they give them five goals, start and come back and lose by two, that's not good enough. 
This is the moment now. They need the next goal. King to half forward, Ottens marks it. Good effort that he stumbled at the last second, still held it. Uses Campbell, he's within range almost. Doesn't quite get it, they've got the numbers. Can Burke get forward? Harrison holds him up. Well played, can't quite get it out. Burke has a crack at it, they hold him up. Ellis gets him, ball up. And we know what decision she's calling for. <laughs> and her. Inter interesting Burke in the goal squeeze. Had a couple of goes, hasn't been able to quite get it. Wouldn't try for the climb over the top then. Tried to keep his feet and rove it. And he's no good on the deck. He's got, just got to fly for it. Darcy brought it down. Little hands by Fiora. Bowden is really clever. He can't get a kick. Terrific tackling by Murphy, the youngster. West. Gets it out wide, this is Bowden, young Bowden, Holland gives a free kick away. Dutchie's disappointed. We've got Ron Smith on the loose here. Well, he's the man they want to get running. Gee, not more. much in that. So Bowden's kick is a good one. To Robbins, very fresh legs Robbins. And they're quick. Cox. Just stretched him under it a bit, Hudson. Still Hudson, Kellaway with him. Ball comes out, Chaffee, like a little uh, hen getting in there, picking away, wasn't he? <laughs> Should say a rooster, really, uh, it'll yeah. be a boundary throw. <laughs> yeah, Robin's only the five possessions, but since he's come on after half-time, he's given them zip and pace. Who, who's the trump card there? Was there anyone there? Crofts there, could they use someone to make a difference? Crofts the one with experience on his side and a very, very good footy brain. And Timmendale's come off for the Tigers, and Rogers. Uh, Playing on the wing, that's about the fourth position he's trying to uh, find tonight. And a pretty quiet night, Matty Rogers, only five possessions. So four of the last five goals the Doggies have kicked. And they've got a couple of goal lead here. Dimitina, well done. Bowden looks the part. This is Patrick on his wrong side. The left kicks the full forward. Tawny belts it away. Grant's read it pretty well. He's in the pocket. Check side, across the face, Johnson, boundary throw in. Actually got too much purchase on the ball there, Chris Grant. Kicked it too far, didn't he? Yeah. Boy, Tigers, you need to be nervous, you'd be sitting on the edge of your seat, wouldn't you? With the numbers around the contest. Kick forward and out on the fall. Benny Gale has to come off the ground. He's shot. He's done all that he can. He just can't get off the ground in the ruck contests. Just it tries to check side it. Doesn't quite connect. And the fact that it came back right to left at the end means he just got a bit too much in the middle of the ball. Good kick by Bowden to Zilla. Gee, Kellaway didn't do a great job to hold Cox up. Zilla to Hilton. Hilton's a lovely long kick when he has to. Gets too close to the man on the mark. To Smith, up and under, went nowhere. Numbers are with the doggies. Poor Tigers. performance by the Tigers forward. This is a waste, isn't it? The no signs problems. are not good. Cox's kick. Curley's had a pretty big match. Kick two, goes to Grant and finds him. Now, Chris Grant saw that Curley had it. He ran back to goals and Gasper was in between him and the goals. He gave him a two-handed palm push into the chest, bench press motion. Gasper went backwards, he doubled back towards Curley and that's how he got that break. Chasing jumpers, the Tigers at the moment. They don't look good, Bruce. Uh, the, the forwards look dispirited. I think Ottens needs to go into the ruck. Benny Gale off the field. I don't know who's got fresh legs amongst the Tigers, Dipper, down there at bench level. Yeah, you're spot on there, uh, This reminds me, Bruce, of Wayne Carey. This is the moment, mate. And you would back him to kick it. Tell you what, though, the bit, fair bit of the coach came out in Wallsy then. He wants the players off. And who can do what? Well, Benny Gale's done all that he can, but I reckon Ottens has to go into the ruck now. 50 metres out. It's a good kick. And he's put it home. The captain stands very tall right now. What can the coach do now? Terry Wallace is actually happy to have Richmond try and bottle up his forward line. He fancies his backman one-on-one -on -one against the Richmond forwards once the ball hits the deck. Let's find out this time. King to Richardson. Missed it again. Got a shot. The other umpire caught it. Not the one closest. The second umpire caught the free kick. He'll go long. He does. He gets good purchase. It's a long kick. It's right there. And belted away through from behind. But again... 
He goes long. Ottens gave the lead. He ignored the lead. At least give Ottens a chance to get back to the goal square. He probably has to kick two goals in the last quarter for him to win Richo, doesn't he? He has to do something. Yeah, active. So Smith, 11-11 to 14-8. Two on one, Richmond's favour. Can they win the ball, the Tigers? They've still got the numbers. Richardson's got Knights, very short. Uses him now. Knights outside his range. He'll want to give it off here. Ottens has got to be the target. She's a funny old kick to Richo. Got him. Wants to play on almost. No, I don't think he did. He thought about it. You reckon? Well, he's got to kick this. He's dead in front, 40 metres out. Good play by Knights just to set it up for him. Which is, could be the start. You've got to keep Richo in the forward line. Get Ottens in the ruck. Get Benny Gale off the ground. Need to know who's on the bench, Dip. Let's have a look at them. Young Pettifer. He's smart. Roderick, he's been good when he's come on. Looks Tim, like Tivendale. Tim you've, you've got to throw Tivendale on because he can win a game for you with his long kicks from midfield. Watch the ball, Matthew, not the target. 45 metres out. He's done it. He's done it, Richo. Well, we said he had to kick two in the last quarter for them to win. He's given them a sniff, hasn't he? Absolutely. And he's just about spent, but he's one of these blokes who can get surges. Gives off here and follows through. Follows through and gets on the edge of this chip kick. Thought Ottens, Ottens was going to be the target. It's good mark. Yeah, good mark running with the flight. Plenty of courage shown. And that's just a get off me. I don't reckon he's going thinking about playing on them. Well done. This match deserves a grandstand finish, doesn't it? Big time. That's the doggies forward line. Tigers still very much alive. Campbell's hands terrific. King again out of the centre. Not such a good kick. West marks it. Just got nothing on it, King. And West has got runners out wide. Decides to go down the centre. Long kick, Grant the target. At the back, Gasper's going to have to play a huge last quarter. He's been good all night, but Grant's oh. kicked three. Gasper takes the ball on. That's pretty huge. And then kicks it wide to Richo. He needs it clean. He does it if they turn it over. He's on railway tracks then. Richo couldn't come back for it. Good kick by West. Curley having a really good match. Goes to full forward. Grant nearly played Gale. Rogers to Holland, to Hilton. They're stoic down back at the moment, the Tigers. Short, mark taken by Bowden. They need a huge last quarter out of Bowden. They do, he's playing in the midfield. Hilton, Hilton's little kick is a good one. They're released, Cameron goes for goal, needs a bounce, rolls it through. They're coming back. What a roar. Stakes couldn't be a whole lot higher for a round 17 match with the build-up, the history and where they are on the ladder. And it's all up for grabs again because Richmond has answered. And West has been terrific in the midfield. He's just really risen to the occasion. Matthew Knights is trying to put a tag on him at the moment. Dimitina screaming the instructions on the boundary line at them. 14 possessions for Westy till half time and well he's had another 11 since then so he's got a fair bit of this game yet to go. Holland's been good all night, King six kicks this turn, belts it forward, Richardson couldn't get into it really, Murphy Knights, terrific tackle, Fioria needs something quick and finds it, play on, play on, play on. Ottens belts it out, Ellis, Ellis is little kick away, Tigers are at him, Ottens brilliant, Knights clever, Wonderful stuff, Knight. Didn't blaze. Saw Richo and found him. And the reason he found Richo is that Richo runs forward in the play at every opportunity. How strong was Ottens in the club there to get the footy out? Richardson, we said five minutes ago, needed to kick two goals to keep them in it. If he kicks his second goal, he puts them in front. Good composure by Matty Knights as well. When everything's a surge, he still had vision. He's got it, they're in front. The champ 
has stood up at long last. Doggies will come again. Luke Darcy will be good in the centre circle again. Good tackling's held it in there. Thought Ottens was fantastic there. And followed up the work. Knights was just really good with his composure. Could have blazed away. Saw Richardson run forward to the plate and just put it on his lap. What skill though. I reckon he was thinking long kick and on the, his foot was on the backswing. And when it was coming down, I reckon he saw Richo and then just tempered the weight of it. Just pure class and skill by Matthew Knights. Well, Danny Forley asked Richo for a big one at three quarter time. He's lifted. A couple of players in and under the ball. West and King have been terrific in this quarter. Yeah, King's got fresh legs, obviously. Uh, uh, Robert uh, been off for the first half. And for the Doggies, Robbins and uh, Patrick Bowen. The other boys have had a good night. Nathan Brown back in the middle. Darcy to Brown. Campbell did well. Can't give a free kick away. 50-50. King down low liver to Garlic. Garlic's handball okay. The Doggies are away. Smith's little kick. You reckon there's still a twist and a turn in this match or two, yeah, don't yeah. you? Curly called the play on. Bowden stalking him. Can't get him. Curly blazed. Didn't have to. Tigers with all the numbers. Chaffee. Quick to Cameron. Cameron on the burst. Goes long to Richo. He's got him. He might be the match winner in the end. Good kick by Leon Cameron. They go to him every time. All turns. Can't win it. Penny beat him. Comes wide to Robbins. It's on out wide. Run down almost by Rogers. Gee, it's a good kick. He had nothing long. He had to short it. Johnson's got a lot of room to his left. Out wide. Now give it to Brown surely. He's kicked three. There is nobody better to have it right now. He's missed. He's a surgeon normally with those. Leon Cameron do the kicking in. He's the player they like to give it to. He brings it out of the defence as good as anyone. Hit Richardson with a 55-metre pass. We might get the reward this game deserves. Juice been a good game. All tied up. Could go that close. It's got Holland short. Decides not to go. Has he got the legs? Bowden was good because Eagleton was in the box seat. King went without it. Needs a clever handball. It wasn't bad. It was in the right direction. Gasper over the top. He must get it out. Liver fetches it. It'll be a ball up. Well, if Liver can't drag it away from you, nobody's going to get it away from the bottom of the pack except the umpire. He was like a little dog getting a bone, wasn't he, then? <laughs> he hasn't had a feed for three weeks. Chris Grant rucking against Holland. Campbell. West. Well done to Cox. Clever kick. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant to Curley. Gave it to the right man in Eagleton. Eagleton to full forward. It was a one-out situation. Well played, Tony. Rogers had a quiet night. He controlled the kick beautifully to Holland. On the up to Tawny. The Tigers build. Cameron's the man. So often when they build. Goes with a long kick. Half a kick, really. It was a poor one in the end. And Murphy strolls away. Has time. Goes wide. Eagleton marks. Nathan Brown wouldn't lead from full forward before. He just wanted the ball weighted. He's actually got a lead. Smith fell over at the wrong time. Gale gets hold of it. Tigers are holding up pretty well here. Chaffee's got it. It's a what? match of surges, isn't it? Yep. Gee, that's dangerous. It'll come off. Rogers. Decides just to load it up. Richardson and Ellis. Richardson and Ellis. Burke. Bowden's the man out wide. They couldn't get it to. That's play on. Ellis is away. Harrison takes Bowden out. They still haven't stopped Ellis. Gets wide to Cox. Cox goes with a little nine-iron pass. It was too slow and too high. Gale, Darcy just mungled him and got rid of him. And then goes down the line. Grant versus Gasper. Tries to turn him. Brown, Gasper, wonderful. Grant tries a toe poke. Two heroes together. Holland gets it from Chaffee. Tonight, he's got Hilton. Goes inside. Got to Richardson. Cameron, Richo. Will he try and go all the way? Ellis has got to tighten up. He's just got to tighten up. He was 30 metres off Richardson for a long time. Ottens to go in the goal square. It's a one-on-one. Oh, he's, one. he's got it. There's a big show there. One-on-one. -on -one. He had him on the wrong side of the body. 
Luke Penny would have, you would have read the fear on Luke Penny's face, not for courage, but just for fear, I'm on the wrong side here and I'm done. Neville Crow in the crowd, ex-president of the Tigers, and what about the tackle by Gasper, and Ottens just using his strength, taking his 11th mark of the night. Just had him done for position. Well, Richardson's lifted, hasn't he? Richardson's lifted in the last quarter. Benny Gale has been admirable in the ruck. Gas was strong in the back line. But don't discount the dogs. They've been terrific all night. And King and King uh, Roberts has gone straight into the room. He's bleeding from the hand again. Obviously, the decision's come undone. And Campbell was just put over by Roberts. And uh, he's short for breath at the moment. We'll see Otten shoot for goal. Going for a fifth goal here, Ottens. Straight in front. Geez, kicked the badly. He's kicked it dreadfully, but he's running back and he likes it. It's a goal. Tigers have kicked the last four goals. Look at the set of breaks in the last quarter. He does. He's finding it's tough to get off the deck there, but he's up against Benny Gale again, who's the same. Wins at that time. Johnson, Cox, Garlic, back. Darcy, well done to Bowden. Patrick Bowden it is. To full forward, Brown. Tawny did well. Did really well. He did well, stood his ground, a little bit of a touch in the back, umpire let it go. Kick to Campbell, it'll get him. If it turns into a stand and deliver with Nathan Brown, he's going to lose them above his head every time. Richardson's worked really hard here. Campbell kicks over the back, Gasper held up, no free kick. Brown knew that he was in trouble, didn't he? He had to get hold of him and he did. Darren Gasper looking at the umpire saying, what about the free kick? He'd done him for speed, Gasper, hadn't he? But Grant was able to hold him. Yeah, he did it pretty well. Did it pretty well, Chris Grant. Would have been a brave umpire to give a free kick against him. Well, there's no loose men in defence anywhere now. <laughs> They're going press man on man. Richardson to Campbell. Curley paddles it. Gasper wins it. Gets it out. Good umpiring. Ball up. Yeah, a bit of lenience shown to... Aaron Gasper then. There's Ottens in the goal square. The runner out to him. He's one out with Penny. They'd like that, the Tigers. Time not a factor, but we're starting to tick away. Luke yeah. Darcy's dropped out of the contest. He's at half forward for the Bulldogs. Gale's gone back with him. Punch forward by Eagleton. Back to Knights from Hilton. Hasn't wasted too many footies tonight, Knights. Chaffee's the go. It's a terrific kick. Chappie short, Bowden, can he find the footy? Can't quite, Cox was wonderful, absolutely outstanding. It hit the line, no, he's over on the floor. Doggies have got a man up, Matthew Knights at the stoppages. Scotty West got him, and Knights just sits, sits defensive side of the pack, skirts around it and wins kicks every time. And Croft right about to come on again for the Dogs as the kick comes back. Tell you what, the doggies have tested Bowden a couple of times tonight, haven't they? Oh, they've gone hard at him. They knew they, they, knew they had to test him because he's such an important kick. When he gets the footy, he sets up so much. They went after Bowden. They went after Tibbendale. They sat liver on Campbell in the early stages. Terry Wallace has coached really well. Cameron's kick. Richardson is just turning it on when they've wanted him most. Benny Holland walks across the mark there, holds up two flat palms and says, you just take it easy, gobble up some time and kick the goal. Do you know when I said we were seeing the bad which are early? You you see, good one. We're seeing the good one. And what he needs to do here is just simulate the play on. There he is, a lot of concentration there. And just run around onto the right foot for a big hook footer. Well, the stadium will shake if he kicks this. It's not going to come back. To behind. He runs straight at it. He's almost prone to doing that. Gee, the Bulldogs have hardly got a forward line. They've got Croft, who's just come on. He's gone to half forward. And you can see Rowan Smith with the footy. Grant's put himself in the back line just to try to win the footy. Kick the last four goals, the Tigers. West just shrugs off Hilton. Short to Darcy. One of the blokes that uh, Chris Bond mentioned to Andy Maher, a couple of the names. Chris Grant was the other one at three-quarter time. Richardson's delegated, bound to chase Ellis up the field. Ellis can't find it. He does now, got a high tackle, gets a free kick and a comeback. Yeah, Richo called in his teammate Joel Bowden there to chase him up there. 
Tigers trying to man up here, getting numbers back in defence. Richo sending them all down there, Dermot. <laughs> He's saying, old guard, set a half forward. The rest of you blokes get down there and send it back to me. Who's the target? In fact, Richo's run into the defensive 50 for the Tigers. Good to see. He's going to fill up the hole, fill up the space. He's going to rely on a big mark. Ellis is probably just going to have to kick it long and hope. Goes to Smith. Smith at about 60 metres here. They'll want to take him on. Play on, because they're all pretty deep yeah. behind the man on the mark. Too far out to kick a goal. You get to 55 on the run. If you can just get Campbell inside. But this isn't too bad. I know it's gobbling up the clock. Poor kick. Cameron's got no one to go to. You'll have to put it out of bounds. It's a good looking kick. Can it find the line though? It's a great kick. It is a sensational result. That is a kick for touch. He got what he wanted. Umpire couldn't penalise that. The Tigers get one more goal, they'll win the match. They need to get one more goal and they'll win the match. Gee, that's a clever player. No one to go to, no one in front of him. He had to get the ball out of play. Did it to perfection. When the Doggies kicked the last goal for them of the match, they led by 16 points. That was at the six-minute mark of this quarter. Ott should beat Ellis. Does. Coglin. Smith to cut off Knights. Danger play now. West. Got rid of uh, Gale. Goes very short to Curley. Curley loads it up. Johnson's the goal. It's a good kick. It's a great mark. Always going to be dangerous on the sprint there with Zillett trailing in behind him. And this is no certainty with Brad Johnson. What about the composure of Scotty West? Yeah. Just terrific. Wasn't rattled in the pressure situation. Held onto the footy, let them move around him and then just straightened up. He's kicked two goals. He's missed it. It's a good call, Jeremy. He got the hard one on the other side, but he missed that one. Leon Cameron says, I'll take the kick in. Leon might just tap it onto his foot here, play on and go for touch outside 50. How many shots on goal are the Doggies going to get in the next three minutes? That's a big miss, isn't it? Big one. So Burke at half back. Long to Richo. They're in the driver's seat, the Tigers. Grant's gone back on the Richo. There's the ultimate compliment at this stage of the match. Smith. Got to take a chance here. They've got it on the lines. Robbins. Short. Eagleton. Got it. Hasn't marked it. Play on call. Surely. They need a goal. They need a good kick. And they almost got Brown. He's kicked three. He's kicked four. What a goal. He's a star. And back they come again. And so a match that had been talked about for a month and had been built up all week is going to produce a fantastic finish that it deserves. Well, Walsy, we're going to get Brad Ottens in the middle for the centre bounce clearance. And if ever this club, over the last decade, the Tigers have had everything written about them pinned on one action, it's going to be all about their centre bounce clearance. They lose it, they probably live up to the tag of failure when the crunch games are on. They win the centre bounce takeaway, they book themselves into September virtually. Well, <laughs> such an important bounce, you're right. Ottens up against Darcy. Tigers have won four out of five in the centre bounce this quarter. They need a fifth here. Darcy to Libba. Darcy right. it. It's high, Darcy's got it. Goes out wide to Murphy. He's got pace. He can't waste this. He can't just blaze away. What does he do with it? Sizes it up. Goes high. Brown and Zilla. Zilla nearly. Brown can't break it. Brown goes oh. it high. It's not paid. Gasper, the ball almost out. Johnson searching for it. Goes back. Cox gets something on it. Not enough. Gasper marks it. There's no second place in this match. There's only a winner. After what they built this up to be, there's no brave loser. The stakes are too high here. Richo's got to present near the boundary line. Long kick near the boundary line. If Richo can't mark it, he's got to think, I'll punch it over the line, force a boundary throw in. Doggies lose, they're out of the eight. Tigers lose, they'll never forgive themselves. Nathan Brown got knocked senseless in that tackle. Good man to have the football. 
close to 200 or 250 odd games Paul Broderick well some say they saw the best match they've ever seen last Sunday I tell you what this is one of the great contests it's had it all just important the Bulldogs go one on one can't let any free Tiger players appear they'll have one last dip at a contest here the doggies they've got to force them into a contest Shoot. they've done it was a huge challenge for them. You saw the coach's box, the emotion shown there. Had they lost this one, their chances of playing finals were severely dinted. Dipper, all with you with Matthew Knights. Yeah, thank you very much. First of all, uh, Robert Wards has just mentioned this would have been one of the most important wins Richmond's had, uh, Matty. Yeah, Dippers. Been a big week. We've had to wait. 14, 15 rounds. Get another crack at him. And he's blazing. We said at the start of the game, focus on the footy, do the team things, uh, and eventually it paid off, only by a small margin, yeah. but it's good to win. It's been a big week for you too, the whole question's about you and about the club, but uh, you're turning around, mate. Yeah, it was pleasing, even though there was a lot of individual stuff, the whole week the club was just united. We wanted to take the Bulldogs on as a group, and that's the only way we're going to beat them. And, uh, for the, for the football club, the regional football club, that's a good night for us. I saw you run the boundaries, just stare at the, at the coach's box before, saying, listen, uh, put me back on when you came off before. You you really want to stay on the ground all night. Didn't want to come off, did I wanted to be out there for the full 100 minutes. This is what you played footy for, this is what you trained for, mate, big games like this. Well, everything's been talked about, written about you, you've, uh, you know, you've answered all the critics now. Yeah, no, it's been really good, and uh, win by two points, push us towards the finals, Tim, it's great. Good boy, mate, well done, thank you, Matty. Dave, have a look at the reaction here for the two coaches. Coaches. This is the boxes at the same time when the siren goes. What a contrast. As I said, there's no second place tonight. There's too much at stake. We saw the Bowden brothers a moment ago. Frawley wears his heart on his sleeve. He's doing that right now. Terry Wallace, well done. He's down with his troops. Gee, they put... He raised the stakes once in this match. If that was possible... And in the end, Richmond responded. Richmond did respond. So uh, Terry Wallace coached magnificently. I reckon he got the right moves early in the game. Richmond were on the back foot. The Tigers came back. This win is the most significant Richmond victory, I reckon, for 20 years. Terry Wallace was just saying, keep your head up, boys. Keep your head up as I'm leaving the ground. Well, they were proud. Yeah, they can be proud of their performance. You know what the best thing is? This is the sweetest. It is the best payback you can give, too. If Danny Frawley talked about everybody has their every dog has their day this is the best payback you can give we're going with the Tigers as we go inside and we're going to hear them sing the song they won't be denied this year they're going to make the eight it's like finals have started I reckon they've already played their first final it might have been the elimination final in the end for the doggies it's going to be very hard from this point on just a swell of emotion inside this room has brought something to this team hasn't he Frawley oh, a magnificent spirit a magnificent spirit and you can see the unity you can see that the leadership group of coaches and the senior players are as tight as could be they kicked the four goals when they needed them they were 16 points behind yeah, they looked as if they were gone I've got to admit at three quarter time I thought they were gone and then the doggies got to almost three goals we'll take a break what a night it's been here it did have everything it went right down to the wire with so many twists and turns it was one of the matches of the season without a shadow of a doubt like it's the city of new york in his short career as a coach i doubt it i'm sure he hasn't there was so much pride at stake for this club tonight it was a bit personal no doubt about it that had their nose rubbed in round two it had been regurgitated this week terry wallace had played a very strong hand his
boys didn't let him down, but in the end it was for all these men who came through and won an absolute thriller. A game we won't forget. It was our best Friday night game for the year. It was a contest. It was yeah. just a great contest and I thought that Terry Wallace coached really well early in the game and then Danny Frawley responded. It was a contest all night. Every quarter had to be won in the end the hard way by one team or the other. Ottens was fantastic, Brown was terrific, Grant almost won the game for them. Four goals to three in the last quarter, and the Doggies got shots on goal as well. Nathan Brown actually got a good run onto the goal, missed it early. Uh, Cox fell very shallow with his snap on goal too, so they had their opportunities. Campbell and Knight, so much talk. They're on the banner tonight, they're on the Bulldog banner. Here's how they reacted after the match. I mean, they'd been under so much scrutiny, so had Liver after round two. And they got booed all night, didn't they? Yep. <laughs> but I thought they responded magnificently. Look, I think the three players who had the heat on them going into the game, Knights, Campbell and Liberatore, I thought they were magnificent tonight. They played it hard, but they played it fair. There was no spite involved at any stage. Hoping to talk to Danny Frawley shortly. Brad Ottens, five goals, three of them in the first quarter. Well, he'll figure in votes. I won't give them away straight away, but uh, his hands were superb tonight. And you see him here with the check side punt. Just felt like every time the ball got into the one-on-one, -on -one, most times when you watch league players uh, go at it, you think, well, that's a good option, you know, they're a real chance here. You're watching that one tonight, and you actually thought to yourself, oh, he's probably going to, dro he's probably going to gobble this one up. Richo came good in the last quarter after disappointment early, Walsey. Yeah, he was really down, uh, he was down in the dumps, wasn't he? His, his second efforts weren't there, he, uh, he dropped a few marks, he spoke to the coach. You can see, I think the coach had a go at him and said, hey, you've got to give us a bit more than what you've been giving. And to Richo's credit, he responded in that final term, took some brave marks and kicked some good long goals. He certainly did. He did a great job. One of the jewels of the night was Gasper versus Grant. Let's go down to the Richmond rooms. Andrew Mars got Darren Gasper. Thanks, Bruce. Fantastic scenes down here when, when you blokes came back in. That was clearly a very important win for you blokes. Yeah, I guess after the build-up during the week and uh, the importance of the game and the importance of uh, positions on the ladder at the end of the day, it was a big game. So to come away after being down in the last quarter, to come back and win by a couple of points, it was uh, pretty special. Did you think when they when they slipped away in that early in that last quarter, did you have any negative thoughts? There's been some negative comments made about your team's ability to stand up under extreme pressure. Yeah, I think that's the way the game went most of the night. Uh, side's got to run on a couple of goals ahead and then they'd always peg back. So. I guess there was a feeling that uh, the momentum was going to change again and I guess that's, that's the way it did, so it was good for us. Darren, well done. Bruce McElroy up top. Your duel with Chris Grant, we marvelled at it up here. I mean, how did you see it tonight? Yeah, he's a good player and he always uh, he gives anyone headaches, so it was... Uh, I had to be on my best game tonight to sort of be up there with him, so uh, it was a fair challenge. Darren, uh, Rob Walls here. Congratulations on a magnificent win. Is it the best win you've been associated with with the Tigers? Yeah, I'd have to say it is. Uh, I guess we haven't played in finals and I guess games like that, they sort of uh, get you into finals at the end of the day, so it was one of the best wins I've played in. Darren, Terry Wallace really pressed the Richmond defence by playing eight men in their own forward line. Obviously, eight Richmond defenders made it very tight and packed in. Did you find it very congested in there and difficult to make decisions? In, you, you mean After half time, you, they actually played an eight man forward line, the doggies? Uh, no, not really. I didn't even notice that, to say the truth. Uh, I guess the way the game went, they sort of. Uh, it seemed, to me, it seemed our forward line was pretty congested, and I guess the guys were just running up and back. Darren's got to get going, boys. Just Richo, I mean, he was just monstrous for you in the last quarter. Yeah, he really lifted, didn't he? And uh, I guess the media's been giving him a bit of flack about his kicking, and for him to stand up and kick those goals in the last quarter was real, uh, real team, team lifting stuff. We don't want you to get any flack with the coach. You'd be better get inside. Back to you, Bruce. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks to Darren, too, for uh, making the effort there. Uh, Danny Foley wanting to talk to his teammates. Interesting, he said, best win I have yep. ever had at Richmond. Yeah, I've got no doubt about mm. that. I can remember Darren Gasper leaving Sydney, coming to the Tigers. This is his sixth year. What they've got to do is get his signature on a bit of paper. <laughs> yeah, well... He's got a few brownie they, points with the coach too, I think, as well. No, no doubt about that. What about the doggies? I mean, they came to play, and play they did. They gave it their best shot. <laughs> Brown had a huge match, didn't he? Yeah, it's funny, just that last kick uh, in, or the kick in the last quarter where he could have nailed it, and he turned a few over in the third quarter. Other than that, I thought in a losing team, he could have been best on ground. Kick four, uh, kicks a bit. This was the last one. He'd missed one just before this, hadn't yep. he? Which was an easier kick. He's a class act, Dermot. Do you think that his role is as a forward or more as a midfielder? I think you've got to do both because if you play him as a midfielder, somebody has to go back with him who's uh, basically essentially a runner and incapable of going with him on the lead and being turned around as a uh, backman. So you get him both ways, mm. I think he gets the right matchup. Brad Johnson's miss at the end. I mean, mm. it, it, 
I mean, he, he played a pretty good game, kicked a couple, but uh, it was one that he will remember, I think. Libba, um, how did he play tonight? I thought he was terrific. He was set for Wayne Campbell. Look, he got in early there with a bit of a push and shove on Matthew Knights. Nothing wrong with that. But he kept Campbell to only one possession in that first quarter. And I thought that when he went off the field, and I know that Terry Wallace had to give him a bit of a spell at one stage, but Campbell came back into it late in the second term. The tackling there that was, was just a, great a game tackle, first it? rate on, uh, on yeah. the big fella Ottens. He kicked the goal. I thought Liverpool played really well. Doesn't do that much either. No, <laughs> kicking goals. Yeah. They've got a tough run. Uh, they've got to go to Brisbane this week, uh, away from home. And then they play Collingwood, Hawthorne, Port Adelaide and Melbourne. So there's maybe Melbourne at the end, if they're out of it, might be easier. Terry Wallace at the end of the match. I mean, he was down there in a hurry, wasn't he? He got straight down there. I think he had to let his players know that he was proud of their effort. And he should have been too, because uh, I thought the Bulldogs were terrific. Um, they, they really started each quarter particularly well and had the Tigers on the back foot. You can see they're pretty disappointed as they leave the field. Well, they'd given so much, hadn't they? they that, they'd wrung everything out of themselves. I mean, they, every last bit of perspiration had been spent tonight by both teams. Johnson... Well, he kicked a terrific goal in the last quarter, and he, he'll rue the one he missed, so you can't blame him. Richmond, this is, these are live pitches now, the Richmond supporters, they're going to party long and hard. <laughs> it's almost like the English soccer fans here. Without the aggression, they were fantastic, the crowds, but that's the euphoria down at the Coventry end of the ground after the game. I think it takes a lot of pressure off the Richmond Footy Club, because for years they finished ninth, and there were people saying, oh, look, they'll get bundled out again. And this was the crunch game for them, much-awaited game, and to come through and win in those conditions, in a real context, test situation, they'll just do their confidence the world are good. Their 11 wins match what they won last year, they got 11 wins last year they've already got them with 5 rounds to go surely they're going to make the finals now the match stats uh as we have a look, uh, the doggies, well, same number of kicks, it's basically the same number of handballs, aren't they? Look at the entries inside 50 down the bottom of the screen. I mean, that indicates two, sh two points of the difference, and they both went inside 50, 58 times. Centre break's interesting. Doggies had the advantage, but in the last quarter, it was the Tigers that had the advantage. And Clinton King was good in the last quarter. He missed most of the first half, but I thought when he came back on, he just has the ability to read the play and get the ball. When you look at those stats, no wonder it was a close match. Absolutely. 86-104 as well in the marks, and mm. Richmond uh, holding sway in that area, but they were dominant in the air. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll look at the votes. It's going to be pretty interesting. Also, hopefully look at the ladder and the matches to come in round 17. What a match has been at Colonial tonight. An absolute thriller going right down to the wire. Yeah, happy. With Richmond winning by two points over the doggies. For Leon Cameron, an architect off the half back line, and Brad Ottens took 12 grabs and kicked five. Important 11th win, still no percentage. The repercussions for the brave dogs are enormous because if Collingwood, Geelong, Kangaroos, and Adelaide all win, they could go down to 12th spot this weekend. And need to find three wins out of the last five games as well. Let's have a look at this weekend because it's so, such an interesting uh, round. Give us the winners, boys. Well, Dermot and I are both going down to Geelong tomorrow. I think the Cats. Unanimous there. Melbourne, Adelaide. Uh, it's a tough one to pick because Adelaide probably a little bit better than Melbourne, but at home. I think Adelaide. Mm, Fremantle, Collingwood, I think the Pies. Pies for me and Brisbane for me also, even away. Big one, I think Brisbane. And uh, after that, Port Adelaide, Essendon, Bombers. Got to go the Bombers. And I'll go the Hawks. Who are you going to go? I'm going to go for the boy? Blues. <laughs> OK. Sydney. And I'll go Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Sydney to beat West Coast. Some terrific matches, but... Uh, They'll be doing well if they're any better than this one. It was a night to remember. Well done, Walsey. And Thanks you too, uh, Dermot. Good, cool. Good, fun. <laughs> Good fun. Good fun. <laughs> we'll see you next Friday night with Richmond and Collywood. Thanks for being with us. It was uh, one of those special evenings of footy.